15 minutes and 13 of them gone, so I'm gonna send both of you boys back to the poll. I can't Is you live or host? Is you live? Gag order. Let's talk about the order. Come through the baddest blogger. What's so, up, bro? We live. We live. Y'all know we live, and we testing, getting ready for the 2023. Much love, Gag Nation. Much love, everybody checking in. We should be live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Y'all see the people making changes. Y'all actually, you know. Y'all received the gag order. Gag order line is on 404-914-3905. Everybody talk about this Meg and Tory case. They can't find the security guard. They don't <laughs> gag order line 10,000 times. We need to just throw the whole case in the trash. <laughs> Tory in the elevator trying to holler and fuck the holes in the elevator. <laughs> the security guard is missing in action. <laughs> uh, Cassie still person. don't remember nothing. Your neighbor act like he remembered it all. What is going on with this case? Is well, you live? I'm live, Queen. Gag us. Well, today we don't gag about. Well, before we get into the Megan, you know, the lion trial, let's get into Krishan letting Zeus pimp her for a check to get her daddy. On the side of the road, leaking like a little, like he on the streets looking for a bar. What happened to her daddy? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What happened to her daddy? Give us the gag. All right, so on Zeus, Krishan was supposed to have a meet up with her family, on, and Zeus produced the whole thing because you could see Zeus like grabbing the brothers grabbing the daddy telling them to come in this area so that they can fight Ooh, and they just cool. like they just like Krishan brother i mean Chris, uh blue face all off on the whole family he whooped the daddy ass and ain't nobody else in the family tried to help the daddy he he whooped the daddy ass but the brother tried to jump in it and then the brother he had a broken hand couldn't fight back it's all it's all fake. I think it's all fake. Zeus set this whole thing up. So what Krishan was doing? She was huffing and puffing like Tyler the whole time. But she was scared of her um sister that's a big girl. So this is the case of what they you know, we just had them on the docket. They doing anything for a check. I burnt the whole Zeus network down to the ground because they only put the drug addicts and mentally health and special needs on there to exploit them for their retardation. <laughs> Uh, addictions, oh. you know, and mental health issues, and they just just draining them dry. Uh, and you know, it's completely true because Persuasion, who was just on Baddie, said that Krishan was a completely different person when the cameras was off. And as soon as the cameras came on, Zeus was feeding her Hennessy and weed. And powder donuts. 
Yeah. And Powder Donuts. We can't forget that. Child. And her over here. We knew that from Bobby Yuck Butt Show. Everybody. everybody on Bobby Yuck Butt Show was on Powder Donuts. Everybody on uh, Jocelyn Hernandez was on Powder Donuts. So what did, what, you know, that's the party favor. Powder Donuts, look a weed. You think Zeus the plug? So, oh, oh. You know what? We the people want to know is you the plug, Zeus. We the people want to know. Because mm. I know they supply the weed, but I don't know if they supply the coke. Kiana. The coke Kiana. The, the coke Kiana. <laughs> so. Gag on the live Monday night at 8. We go all the way in. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Kaitha, Mrs.com. So you're going to be watching it the whole season. Did they film you getting locked up for attempted murder? <laughs> They haven't showed that far, but they did show Christian bobbing for apples under a cover. So they sell a sex, drugs, and violence. And they had the perfect person to host the, uh, the Cabaret reunion. Guess who they had to host uh, um, Baddies reunion? Mm -mm. Sour Puss herself. Uh, they had the right people, huh? And Claude Dicka. And Jason hide the kids under his fat leaf. They got them all over there. You know, Kyle, you don't say no lies when you gag because, you know, the Bassett Hound did inspire a whole generation. And now look at Zeus. Now look at Zeus. So what kind of what kind of NDAs or what kind of paperwork is Zeus having them sign to go on there and get monkey stomp like that when they know they ain't got no real security or protection on them? They actually do have to sign an NDA that they can't talk about the show while it's airing. They can't sue nobody so I, for getting head bust either. I don't know, because because either case did go kind of far, but they settled that out of court. Mm -hmm. So they paid the whole. They paid you know, mm -hmm. and came with the hush money. Mm -hmm. So is Trey Song's going to be able to pay this woman that got him locked up for whooping her down in the bowling alley? Woo! I bet the neighbors know my name. Trey Songz, your ass on the docket. Trey Songz got some good lawyers or bondsmen on his team because he don't never motherfucker stay in jail long. Oh, sure don't. Pull his case up, gag. Well, let's talk about it. So what's the tea going on with Megan and them? Because they, 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 uh, is the case over? The case is not over. From what they show, they show the actual recording of Kelsey. And Kelsey said that story shocked me. But this was before she was granted immunity, and you know they're gonna lie if they ain't got no immunity. Mm. I don't remember her saying that. Well, well, the What's the word in the courtroom? Oh, in the courtroom, well, they had to remove one of the jurors because one of the jurors came drunk. Yep, yep, they did do that. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> you know this is a joke. This guy is just. <laughs> they got to be filming for a documentary or DVD. Like they got to be filming. Like. Who who is the camera crew and who is the production company that's in the picture <laughs> on this gag? This has to be a gag. This can't be real. <laughs> so they, they excuse the juror, juror number who got excused for being drunk in the cooter brown, hiding in the cooter. I'm uh, actually excused two jurors. So the first juror was drunk. The second juror had a medical excuse, so they had to remove him from the actual trial. So two jurors gone. Two jurors gone. And Kelsey on the stand telling it all. Yeah. This case, they might have throw the bag. They might as well throw the tower in on this case. They got to throw it. It's a Rock Nation production. Maybe even worse for you. We haven't even got to the defense. It's a Rock Nation production. It's a Rock Nation production. They said the goddamn <laughs> juror, the juror went to lunch. They went on lunch, and the juror came back drunken in the cool brown, could sit in the seat. The bailiff had to hold the juror up, thought the juror was having a medical. Problem, but they smell uh alcohol. I think it was some honey on um uh, on the juror breath, and they had to excuse the juror. I said, you know, during the break, during the break, <laughs> on lunch, and the, the motherfucking juror went to uh <laughs> the juror went to go have lunch and had some drinks and came back drunker than a cooter brown queen. And they said, juror, you are excused. So is he gonna be able so to come back? No, 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 no. Once you're excused, yeah. that's over. The alternates come in. I don't know how many alternates they have. A lot of the reporters that are reporting from the trial, they're not giving us any type of juror action. They're not telling, like, as far as 
when certain people testifying, what the jury face is looking like, or are they taking notes? We're not getting none of that. We don't even know how many alternates there, you know, there are in this trial. But we do know that there has been enough to at least cover two people, you know, and they they're expecting to have closing arguments by Thursday. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna get a verdict after Christmas, or is it gonna be a mistrial and like we the people say, throw the shit in the trash? It's like it's too much. Oh no, no, Queen, because this dude that testified today, I just feel like that you know Megan tried to frame Tory with the lie, and now it's. The prosecution and the judicial system is trying to frame him too, you know. And, and this witness that was called by the defense, you know, it, I mean, he testified like he's a state witness. I don't know. It was just a lot of shit going on in the courtroom today. It's just bad. We got an update from a a reporter that's been in the courtroom. Uh -uh. Better than TV. Hollywood writers can't make this stuff up. Wait until you hear what the eyewitness testimony was this morning at the Tory Lanez. They asked Mr. Kelly, do you know why you're here? He said, absolutely. The defense attorney put up a picture of the back of his home. You could see a driveway. They had him draw a square where the SUV was parked. It was right on the curb of the back of his house, 10, 15 feet. His window is overlooking it. He stepped out onto his Juliet balcony and he watched for several minutes as Meg the Stallion and Kelsey, the two females, he didn't identify them by name, got out of the car and they were engaged in a fight. It was violent, it was quite aggressive. It started with arguing that woke him up in the middle of the night. Where his house is, often him and his son are woken up in the middle of the night by people who stop in and around the back of his home. This was another night arguing, escalation, two women fighting. He watched the whole thing while standing on his balcony. Oh my God, it gets crazier. As he looked down on a fight that he described as quite violent, he then saw the larger gentleman, this is presumably the security guard, Quan, come and violently try to separate them. Eventually, all four were involved in what he called an aggressive, everyone fighting, essentially just a melee, a free-for-all between four people in the middle of the night, right outside of his back window. He said at one point he saw one woman go back towards into the car. At that point, he saw a muzzle flash. Then he said there was a man, and after the first few shots from the woman came off, he saw the man getting involved with the woman and more shots went off. On cross-examination, the prosecutor asked him, did you see the man shoot? He said, yes, I saw the, the shorter man with a gun shooting violently in the air at least five times. <laughs> okay, wait, what? <laughs> That's not what you just testified. Then the defense attorney went back and asked him, I thought you said you saw the woman and then you saw the man shoot. And he's like, yeah, you have to understand. It was just a crazy free for all and it all happened very quickly. And then he said the most shocking thing that has come out in this case, which is that after the shots went off, one woman crawled further away, that the three people then went over there and beat her violently while she was on the ground. They picked her up, they looked, like they were going to drag her and throw her into the river. Instead, they dragged her across the street, put her in the car and drove off. The prosecution, we're on lunch. The prosecution is gonna come back and basically they're trying to build the case that this witness is lying because he's intimidated by the defense that he never said anything about the muzzle flash going off near Kelsey and now he's saying all this because he's scared of telling the truth. We'll see how that comes out on direct. Here's a fact though. He has been consistent about a couple of things. One, the two women were outside that car fighting for several minutes, escalated, started with an argument, then it got quite violent and the security guard came out to try to separate them. The idea that the jury would credit Meg's testimony, which is just completely contradicted by this eyewitness, is highly unlikely. The prosecution has major work to do to save their case, which is absolutely on life support right now. Nah, he said he go. Absolutely on life support. You know, Megan and Kelsey testified that they bumped each other. It wasn't no fight, but this this witness is stating that he saw a a a, a, a no holes barred outside his damn window, Queen. And I don't know, but this just showed me that Kelsey fired the gun. Tori was trying to wrestle it away from her. You know what I'm saying? Which which is where the last two shots came from. When Megan looked up, Tori had the gun. So from Megan's perspective, 
you know, it was him that injured her and really he saved her. Wait a minute, but who was the four people out there beating the woman like a dog and picked her up and was going to throw her in the river? Was that Tori, Kelsey, and the security guard beating me? Who yeah, was the four people? <laughs> okay, so... Right, it was four people in the car. It was it was the driver in the front. It was the driver, uh, which is which was is Tori's security or driver, whoever you, however you want to call her. Then it's Megan. She was in the front seat. Then in the back seat is Kelsey and Tori. So it was four people. So he, from what he's from what this witness, Mister Kelly, is testifying is that it was all three of them versus. <laughs> That Clydesdale was just that big. It took three of them to, to handle a drug. Yeah. Yeah. Is you lying? Chop. So, so, chop. Four, four, nine, one, four, thirty, nine, oh, five. So, what we believe? Kyle. Yes, yes Don. Don. am I am I on live with the queen? You are. I'm in live with the motherfucking queen, B baby. I got some tea for you, and it is so fucking juicy. Well, you know, you know, gag. Wait, hold up. This shit is so fucking juicy. The tea is. <laughs> you need to get them fuck. <laughs> It's so damn silly. Oh, Why y'all it already? Let us gag in peace. Look, <laughs> Lord, I don't know about this case. That's why I said, do we? Are we gonna just throw this case out? That you know, it seemed like Megan them cases tied it through. It seemed like Trey Song's cases tied it through. Everybody cases is tied it through because he next on the docket about Trey Song's whooping this woman in the um in the bowling alley. Did he yeah. do it? Do we think he did it? He, he, hey, oh, hey, baby. How he keep getting away with kicking ass and taking names? Because he in contact uh, with uh with Tiffany T.I. Been the police ass Harry National uh, Security uh, around the world. He got the feds on the line. Hi, oh, Trey. We, we just seen Trey whoop a bitch ass down there at the stadium. Wasn't it? I think it might have been the saltine he whooped and got away with that. I think they peeing him off. How he keep getting out of the, getting get keep getting these get out of jail free cards? That's the question because this shit don't make no damn sense. So they arrested him. He done bonded out. How mm -hmm. many women is it gonna take for Trey to whoop for them to realize that it's his ass? Uh, I'm trying to figure out who told him to go turn himself in. So is Trey free to go, or we not gonna get him no bond because we tired of him and he a repeat offender and we tired of his ass on the dock. We ain't get you know what I ain't seen too much of of of, of stuff out there about Trey putting his hands on people. This may be a, mm -hmm. is this a first time offense for him, Queen. Trey been snatching bitches by the pussy. He got about eleven cases. He keep getting out of jail. Oh, act like when Trey done been on the docket five years straight. He is a repeat offender. Look at Trey. He's a repeat offender. And he feels like he like pussy to me. Child. Well, Most if he men he beat on women don't really like no women. They really you know. Is you well, lie? Hey baby, oh shit! You know what? I got. If he didn't hit them hoes with the bowling ball, then he free to go. It ain't everybody ain't lying on him. Everybody ain't lying on him. The stuff he, the Kiki Palmer, when she said she had to hide in the closet, so like this, this about the tenth woman that came out and said try to either molested or put his hands on them. So we gonna keep letting him go, or we gonna say no ball? You know what I'm saying is it because he fine? What is it? Why he get a pass? Because if this was somebody else that didn't look as good as he did, that'd be under a bridge right now. Trey must be sucking a little dick from the back. I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> I understand how he keep getting these get out of jail free calls. Hey, he said he was sorry. <laughs> when he and whooped what, what, that man down there at that stadium, I just knew he was going to jail. Nick, he swung his Nick, way out of there. <laughs> but hey, this goes to show the game. The girls said they was flourishing, but I ain't been hearing no noise since the queen been on hiatus. I'm about to lie somewhere. Mm -mm. It's been mighty quiet, queen. Yeah. And did you see that um that report about um the gun involved in kissing them case? They were saying that uh Tory um his DNA was inconclusive, but it was a woman's DNA on the magazine. Yes. 
So what they gonna do about this? It's, it's starting to really look like Kelsey the one who did it. I don't know. That's what yes, it is. Show. So so it was just a woman's DNA on the gun. Yes, yeah. and they said Tori DNA was exclusive. Mm -hmm. But it, but I don't mm -hmm. understand why they didn't check that out before they arrested him. Is that correct? I don't know what's going on in this case. It's weird. It's been going on so long. It don't take this long to figure out who to shot somebody out of uh, three people. And where is this story talking about he missing? He ain't oh, yeah, this is what they were saying, but they were saying that man really ain't missing. He was um on vacation or something. They say he was on Instagram or some posting pictures, so he really wasn't missing, but they were trying to say these. Exactly. It's just too much. But why they ain't called him in? Right. And so are they gonna call him or are they, are they gonna rest and the jury's gonna be able to go ahead and make a decision? I think they should call him in. I mean, he's an important piece of the puzzle. This is um an update coming in now, Queen. Oh and um this I, I don't know, I don't know what I don't know what uh what the what the prosecution is trying to do, but they trying to frame Tory, but an uh, update come in and the prosecutors ask the judge that if Tory takes the stand, which you know is is his right not to, that they want they want permission from the judge to talk about his arrest from 2019, his guns had they want to talk about his old rap lyrics and the alleged situation with August Alcina. So they, here they go pulling up they go, pulling the strings. Yeah, they basically just giving up on the case and they just want to testify to his character because they have no evidence that he shot Megan Thee Stallion. Mm -hmm. So that's what's coming in right now from the courthouse is that the prosecutors have asked the judge if Tory Lanez testified, they would like to bring up his priors. They would like to talk about the gun tattoos. And when you talk about gun tattoos, that means you, you really scratching like you really trying to get some a tattoo mm -hmm. on somebody ain't got shit to do with you know what I'm saying with nothing about this case that ain't got nothing. So you know they really trying to try to get something they don't have nothing. They trying to talk about his old rap lyrics and then they trying to bring up the situation with August Alcina. But August Alcina have not pressed charges against Tory, so that's irrelevant. But that's what that's what's coming out of the room right now. So I mean, it's up to his. He ain't gonna take the stand. He if, not. This is the. I believe outside of Tory them, did y'all see where um young thug shooter get caught snitching on the phone to his baby mama? Uh uh. uh, -uh. Mm -hmm. And he was on a jail phone talking to his baby mama, then then basically snitch his young thug shooter. Y'all ain't seen that. Oh, oh, look at us. We got any pictures? Where's it's on Twitter. They got the video on Twitter, and you he had me snitching on purpose because you know that jail calls are monitored. Yes. Someone and you having this conversation with your baby mama? So they said um, some stuff in of some other two other guys that got released, but they saying that they're not stitch, that they didn't snitch either, and that um Gunner's lawyer said that he was gonna plead the fifth and that he wasn't gonna testify. So and my thing is the people they in a debate right now whether Gunner snitched or not. Right. But Gunner definitely snitched when he testified and said why it still was a game. I said Kelsey did better than him on the stand. So now he going up there pleading the fifth? They asked him verbatim, is YSL gang affiliated? Or is it a record label? He said it was a gang. They asked him, was, um, is anybody in YSL, do he know of any of them committing crimes? He said, yes, ma'am. So they're snitching. I they say his name ain't gone because he's going to tell. He better head on up there to, up there to North Dakota. Yeah. And Queen, did you see where Maddie had said on her live that if Zeus paid y'all a million dollars to sit down and have a conversation, she'll mm -hmm. have? Would you do that? Oh, that bitch me, money. Talking with Mandy Manhoa. Well, that's all I wanted. Queen, love you. Love you. Bye, bye, baby. All right. Get oh, I just, I'm just confused on how the neighbor said they was beating Megan the Stallion up. They want to throw her and put her in the damn river. Where that come from? I don't know. This river you know, got weird. Gag order is you live? Hello? Hey, yes, I am live. Oh my gosh, I made it to gag order. Gag us, gag us. OMG, Kaya, let me tell you, girl, I'm a fellow Scorpio, yes. and I am just a huge fan of yours. Thank you, baby. Since my neck, my back, baby, all the way to King Wayne with it. That's my workout song right there. I know that. But I called to gag. Uh. Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. Gaga. Because 
coming from you know an androgynous background being male and female how you all these niggas is gay oh. each and every one of them so it's really hard to tell at this point and i don't know i just feel like it's old news yes that's what I feel like. I feel like they should have been just let this go. Why y'all? You know they filmed find, a Netflix special. It's a Netflix you know, special. Yeah. Why y'all trying to find gun residue? And it's like two years, two and a half years later. Y'all about COVID, late COVID, and passing gone. And we still talking about this fucking Megan and Cyan and Tory Lanez. It's, it's a joke at this I'm, point. It's a joke at this point, but Queen, that's the only thing I call to tell you that I'm a huge fan and I appreciate you, you going thank live you. during the Christmas season. We love it. We oh, really, really do. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. You so much. All right. I'm going right. to go back to uh, watch your video. Okay, right, good baby. night. Good night. Yeah, Queen, I hope on. Tori don't take stand. I you hope he don't take the stand. I hope you don't either. I hope you don't take the stand. I know you lying. Yeah. Huh, yes. Queen, yes. what's yes. good? What's, what's down with it? Yes. I'm from New Orleans. I love you. You my Scorpio sister. I love you Come for real. November second. Oh, yes, that's my birthday. How you been? How you been? I, I just you know. I, I just want to always want to do this, man. Can you can you can you can you sing that for me one more time? What? Love signals. They make it. Yeah. You so damn silly. Y'all so damn silly. <laughs> But no, yeah, I was a calling the gag that much. I just wanted to say, why can't the girl really think she could sing, dog? Uh, like, she really be blowing me, man. Like, she, uh, she all on these shows getting mad when somebody trying to come for her throne. Like, she thinks she need me. What's going on with her queen? Every man. So <laughs> <laughs> you know y'all be gassing these people head up. Y'all got these people. Y'all know what y'all be doing. I'm mean, mad. They be gassing her up, Queen. But like you said, she be singing baritone on Broadway. Uh, what was wrong with the Queen? My dog is not. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> like Queen, I just want to say I love you. I love you. I love Yum Yum Sauce. Thank you. Know, you. Put my legs up, bring it up like, like a chicken wing. Give me that meat. Like yeah. 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 Queen, yeah. it's been good. We playing it all day. We playing it yeah. all the way down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love you. Love you. Keep it going. Bye, Queen. Bye, baby. Shout out to the N.O. Y'all already know I fuck with New Orleans and all the way back. Come on. We, yes, baby. Last night I was watching Jaguar right with uh, uh Nosy Ho with Nosy Ho last night on live, and uh, she said the reason the whole reason why this whole thing is going on right now with Megan and Tori is because it's a setup to get Tory Lanez out of the music industry. Oh well, why they want to get him out? She said because he's a good writer. Mm -hmm. But and he was writing for other people like in the music industry, like for Nas. They said he he wrote on uh Nas's last album, and he being particular with who he want to write for, and they want him to write for more people. So they saying that they want to get him out the music industry to hold a hold up a gun uh charge up up um uh, above his head to to like make him do stuff that he don't want to do. Mm. So like how I said that he don't want to write for certain people that they want him to write for. Mm -hmm. They want to hold up a gun charge up um, above his head so to make him write for other people to make them seem like they're a better rapper than they really are. Mm -hmm. And so, so Nosy Ho was saying... Into writing, you saying? Say it again. To blackmail him into writing? Yes, that's what that's what Jaguar said. And so Nosy Ho was like, So what about the um the actual physical altercation that was happening? So they saying, Oh, that's fake. And she was like, Kelsey and Megan having real beef is not gonna stop them from getting a bag. Mm -hmm. So they basically trying to frame him into having a gun charge. Cause he did have that gun that he that one of them shot him. That was Vegas gun. Well, his hand wasn't on his fingerprints. Yeah. The DNA wasn't on the gun. He did testify that you know 
Is it done I don't know. That's that's what that's what the Jaguar was saying last night, and I wish I was watching. Got Mariah Carey too. We got to pull it up. Jaguar said Mariah had to suck plenty of Peter Weeder from the Bible. Oh. Come up, uh, uh, Jaguar. You know what? Jaguar roast Mariah too, and she gave us the reason why Mariah throat while she was having problems with her vocal cord. I think about how she got signed to Sony. It still kind of fucks me up because. When you have that much talent and you still got to suck to get your demo tape mm. approved. Everybody knows what happened between her and Tommy Matola and that motherfucking shit on the way to her first listening party. They seen her coming up from giving him the back of the shit and everybody knew. Everybody talked about it. Mm. That's why she got the access that she got. She ended up marrying him, didn't she? Then she made him divorce his wife and made him fight her for alimony and child support after that woman had been married to him for 25 years. Whole shit is whole shit. Music shit is music shit. Worst thing that ever happened to females in music was that they started using whole shit to market music. Uh. These hoes suck a dick in the studio. Y'all said I was taking. This was way in 2001 and two and three. Hell, now that Jaguar done said it in 2022, 20, 20, y'all, it's, 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 it's the gospel. When I told y'all like, was fucking for beats and was fucking the producers <laughs> and fucking for deals and Queens was fucking no dick and fucking that I, you know, did my own shit. Y'all thought I was hating on them hoes, you know. But now y'all see that's what these hoes been doing. Ain't Clive Davis still looking for Jaguar? Oh, well, he ain't found it yet. Hell. So she Kanye, thinks she's safe. She's talking about here speaking some real shit that the Queen Ben said. Girl, the Queen Ben said this. Everybody that's saying shit after the Queen Ben said it, y'all late as fuck. Tied through and delayed. Okay. Cause y'all know Jaguar ain't lying on them hoes, but they go get us. That's how you was spitting the real shit before even before and Jaguar was, even came out. And I was like, oh my god, they're sucking dick. Oh my god, the studio is an orgy. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep rapping in my closet in the in the bedroom because I was. <laughs> uh, Did you lie? Did you lie? But I was a hey. I'm lying. I was you lie. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh my god, this. Right. What's he? I am from Overtown, Miami, Florida. Town, Florida. Like, hey. Booty and call. Don't play with me. Okay. Let me let me let me let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Because we're gonna twang in it. Come on, twang. What is the gag with sis and her BBL? Sis and her BBL, baby. And she don't really want to say that she got one. Can we talk about it? Let's and not the voice. It. Gag us, gag us. Gag. They say she had just had a breakdown. Somebody sent it into the doctor. They said she had a breakdown somewhere. She was tired and food because they was getting ready to push her album back after she got all that work done and they don't want to show a video to show her. Blah, blah, blah. And I said, Bonnie, girl. So is this true? Oh, Baby, man. she said that her son is SOS. She said got her body down, but nobody it's nobody's business. She said it's nobody's business. But why is she acting like she need her vocal cords rested? Oh, let's talk about the order. So they so are they pushing the album back or no? No, the album is already out. The album, the album already out. came out. Uh-huh. It's good. It's but good. it's she's she mainly talking about her body, how she got done, and niggas that want her and fucked her. Especially Ooh. Drake. But she put that in Don't the want her ass no more. So she's gonna spend all that money. She on the record label. That's why she's so damn depressed. Well, they sure all sent the video of him of hurrying and crying and boohoo, and I didn't know what the crying was about. I thought it was because they pushed the album back. Mm -mm, no, the album came out on the, I believe it's the night. The night? Mm -hmm. It came out on the night, on the Friday, yeah. And it's good. Mm -hmm. Y'all make sure y'all go check to the album out. I mean, if I wasn't get a BBL and then fucked all these industry people and said all in money and not get no play from that, I'd be sad too. Mm. So that's what all the yeah. love songs is about? That's what it's about. See, that's but I get it though. Maybe I need to get me a BBR. I need to be like Young Miami and Diddy. See, see how Young Miami is. See, Diddy got money. He can pay her ass. But Drake, I don't think he can pay her. They say Slow Miami say she can't take it anymore. Oh, girl, she didn't see that man fuck too many men. That's why. Oh, many men. <laughs> Better than TV. <laughs> Hollywood writers can't make this stuff up. Wait until you hear what the eyewitness testimony was this morning at the Tory Lane Street. They asked Mr. Kelly, do you know why you're here? He said, absolutely. 
who he talking about? Uh, 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 uh. Romeo and Master P. We got to talk about them because they done sent a lot of videos uh, in of Master P. I love See, the thing with Master P is that he slutted his son out. His son is suffering from PTSD. That's why. Not slutted his son out. He did. Uh, yes. Literally of years. That's how he got them coins. No. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. He'd have been so his son out for a long time ago. That's why he was able to make his millions. Uh huh. He was already in the car. And his son is going to expose himself or kill himself one or the other. Y'all, well, we ain't mm -hmm. going to hook him. He already done lost one child. Lerone, you know what I mean? No, Romeo said that he's been a child slave, that he has not You know what I mean. So La Romeo feel like he was doing all that work and he didn't have no escrow or no 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 account set up for him. I don't know why these child stars and actors and rappers don't go ahead and get them no money. A, a, a account set up and an mm -hmm. estate person set up so they can keep mm -hmm. the money until they turn 18. So yeah. uh, it, 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 the father was in control of the money and he said he spent all the money. The money that he didn't spend by the time he tried to get it, he owed it all in taxes. He didn't get nothing. Because mm -hmm. Master P booty hole was so damn loose, he had to use his kids. But so then when his kids? whole guy loose, then he's going to make no more money. He had to just let them go and find somebody else. It's crazy. Why didn't they have an, uh, 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 an estate or something set up? So that the children can get their money when they turn 18. That's the same thing happened with Bow Wow. You know, they they not where is the money? The money is in his pocket. It's not in Romeo's pocket. Just like <laughs> many of his sons, well, his daughters to make them look like the Clermont twins. You see that? Uh, he wants them to be the new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call him Hugh Hefner. Call him Hugh Hefner Diddy. On, How about that? Yeah. I seen them young ladies. I seen Diddy girls looking like the Claremont twins when they. Came I know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let, let me show you. <laughs> got the and then, then, uh, the game daughter was another one they sent there into the dock and say the game oh. daughter was 12 years old and she got on makeup in the hoochie mom outfit at 12. They didn't understand why she was invited to the party with 16 year old mm -hmm. dressed like a grown woman. And I said, Wait a minute, her mama is a mm -hmm. teacher, so I know her mama ain't never go out the door with that makeup and that them clothes on. Yeah, it's them green eyes. They want to turn them eyes green to brown real quick. That's how long it's going to take. So the 12 year old is wearing a face full of makeup and, and little mini skirts? Oh, they're not using that face for a reason. They know what they're doing. So the game it's all a part of the problem. Think of, look at Kim Kids, the Balenciaga thing. Why take her so long to use the damn to go along with trying to figure out what the lawsuit was going on? She knew what's happening. She knew what's pedophilia going on with Balenciaga. Come on now. Not to say those children look like the Claremont twins <laughs> on the fatal night when they, you know, they sugar daddy. Where is the I said, you know, uh, uh, I mean, I'm not lying to you. The tell them people to follow his daughter and she only 12 years old. They don't Jim's care. Like little Kim. About that. You know, Hollywood is Okay, evil. this is the daughters. I said they look evil. like they had on period panties and bras. They all, what? You know, I mean, the game of innocent himself, though, when we think about it, though, you know, he don't rap about the prison shit for a reason. Keep with the girls. So we gonna let he them, love the girls. We're going to let them be in their period panties and bras. That shit is unacceptable. Oh. Okay. You look like they had their face done or something. They got that little Kim special. Well, like they the models. jaws of life. You know, they tall. They tall. Like they, they tall. They models. So are they modeling? <laughs> <laughs> Kim was. She was a model. But then look how that happened. Ooh. Why was the twelve-year-old invited to the sixteen-year-old party dressed like how they was? Why? Is that okay? I mean, hey, that's them parties that did he have. I'm scared to go to one of them parties. I ain't trying to go. Okay. I mean, it was an auction. Okay, you saw how it was for taking when the girls when they when they saw the girl in Amsterdam. Child, we the people okay. say uh, Harvey Weinstein made the guest list. It wasn't nobody but underage children. <laughs> okay, come on now. Okay, look, that what happened with Nickelodeon? Sale. What's his name? Dan Snyder selling feet pics. They wanted to get the feet pics. What slow Miami and the the children's party? She closer to their age. Oh. I don't even got time for her. Uh, was she at she the was party? Fuck. Or did he ain't invite her to the party because she talked too much? Mm-hmm. She been trying to fuck Megan Sonic for the longest. 
We already know what's going on. You know, no, 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 no. JT ain't fucking around. Wearing the outfits to the party? Are, are they, they, y'all asses on the docket for Monday? Them bitches going to the election. Well, I, I don't know because Santana and Miami is the closest thing for a reason, and JT ain't fucking with it. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Well, what you think going on? Santana been busting that back down for Diddy for the longest. This thing was funny. Uh, well, heard they just said Diddy security said that he bought butt plugs and went in the hotel room with Josh. Who that? Mm-mm. Wait, 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 what, what, what happened? Now? This is news to me. Uh, uh, we the people sunk it into the dock and said Diddy security testified to the people <laughs> that <laughs> to uh, buy butt plugs and all kind of sex toys. And that when he got to the hotel, Ja Rule answered the door. So did. He said he knocked on the door and said, what goes here? And Ja Rule said, we busy. I don't know if you want to join in to what we got going on in here. See, that's, uh-huh. that's how Ja Rule got that fire pistol with Billy McFarlane is facing 25 years in prison. It's because of Diddy. Now it's making sense. Uh-huh. They didn't pay with Ja Rule to get out of that contract with the fire pistol because Ja Rule could have went to prison too. Now, why he but got- instead, he had to bust that back open. For a real nigga, but is he a real nigga though? I don't know. He got the real coin. Well, now who now it's making sense. Who was who was climbing on who back? <laughs> oh my god, I love y'all. Diddy now, that's, now, that's a real I said, now wait a minute. Why did he throw ja- Why did security throw Jaru under the bus? Jaru ain't did that. Nothing to nobody. Jaru wanted to make money. Uh, he just didn't do. He wanted. He didn't want to do it the hip hop way because you know when you get into the hip hop way, you gotta really bust that back down, baby. Okay. So do he didn't want to do that. But eventually said, he had to. Do we believe the security guard? Yeah, I believe the security guard. We the people say we believe the security guard. Jaru we believe the security guard. So young man, we're gonna put him on the docket over some young hoe, and she need to be worried about Ja Rule. Right, right. Uh, y'all heard Joe Button say he wanted to make fizz come out of little fizz. Did y'all hear him say he wanted to bust a wild? Uh, that's yeah. 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 They wanted on that Monday night. They say they say that he said he was gonna do something. That little boy said he'll break that little boy. I said Joe Bottom. He <laughs> <laughs> make this stuff up. <laughs> he said gonna make this come out of little fizz. You just went over the here showing that you got all these motherfuckers. Do I like skinny? Do I like skinny people? Damn, I don't know what you do in your phone. This too small for me, man. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga here. I'll break that little boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Hey, Ash, yeah, what play, song play, are you play, playing today? Hey, <laughs> uh, <I> bre- <laughs> yo. Um, I have Fizz coming out of Fizz, man. Get this nigga out of here. <laughs> hey, yo, what's wrong with you? Get Fizz out of... Nah, nah not that way. Nah, yo, that nah, that's, that's funny, funny dude. You know <laughs> have Fizz coming out of Fizz. Yo, young lady. <laughs> Child. Uh, real nigga. Oh, my weird. God. Wow. You know, grown men what? don't play like that. Not even in Why? the locker room. Uh-uh. <laughs> Child. What the fuck is going on? Uh, what the fuck is going he on? He said he gonna do a science oh to see that fizz come out of fizz, child. He said he wanna see fizz come out of fizz, child. Gag order. Gag order. Let's talk about the order. Let's talk about the order. Go, go ass on the docket Monday night at eight to talk about fizz coming out of fizz. What's the fizz? <laughs> Well, I thought he had a small team, so I'm trying to figure out what he's going to bring. You know what? I need my gavel. Y'all better be the... That's what I heard. So I want to figure out what, what he's going to bring. Child, now, why he acting like he's going to bring something that we seen what he's working with? Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to bring gag. Gag Life Jennings with that goddamn Billy Go Throw. Pull that Billy Go Throw up. 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 Pull that What no, was it? the first one for me? It was the first one. People say that like he was getting fucked. Okay. Uh, 
That nigga sound like he was down there at one of them goddamn Texas bathhouses. That was that echo yeah. in that DJ. He's like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> <laughs> Whole bitch throwing up in his ass. <laughs> Rent the Billy Go Throw. You know, him and Kim. Billy Go Throw. Now let me go forget Mariah with that Billy Go Throw. Uh, All they throw is his fuck up, sis. <laughs> All they throw is his fuck uh, uh, we put his ass on the dock and what we charge him to be on the dock. What we charge him uh life with the the right bottom. Bottom. kidnapping the goat really sound like a fool. Oh <laughs> that Billy Go Thon. <laughs> we the people say with that Billy Go Thon. Are we I don't I won't die. What is going on? We don't see any crime it. Lloyd hated it. He go like, hated it. Hated it. <laughs> we got to go see he switch out. Uh-uh. All right, Queen. That's all I got for tonight. <laughs> yeah, um, thank you, sis. We on I it. I really hope Romeo and Master P work out their little differences because they need to get it right. together. We need to get I agree. His I money. agree. No way that baby, the type of star that little Romeo was, should be broke at 30. They right. should have put an escrow or some money or had the estate, the money going to the, the estate. They should have had an attorney if you wanted to pay for his private school or pay for little things that he needed to buy. Had the attorneys or the head of this, the person over the estate sign off on it. So then when he turned 18, he had his money. You didn't do right. that. Now that right. boy don't got nothing to show for. He said he had to pay his own way through college. He said, and, and you can't say, oh, he lived in the mansion. Oh, I bought him a car. No. You know, he was supposed to have some place to live and he was supposed to pay for his education with his father. But where's the money from the record sales, from the commercials, the all all the, the rap snack? He somebody that he should have had his own attorney. His mama should have got it. Yes. Yeah. But see, I knew Master P went shit when he left his brother uh in jail like that. They said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said he tried to get C Murder to change his ways. He had them been bonding him out and getting him out of trouble and getting them lawyers. He said he was fine. He wasn't supposed to get tired. No, well, Master not P, so man, we got to pull the Master P video up. Master P, he said he tired of them leaning on me. He said they leaning on him all the time. He said he's tired. He said he tired of getting everybody money. Like a week ago, real well, they uh, Romeo say he ain't got no money. Well, he owe Romeo that money now. He sure the fuck do. Now Romeo say he been working representing the family and, and he ain't got paid a dime. Mm -hmm. And that's why yeah, I love didn't Romeo say that he saved? You know, Master P was told that Romeo was the one that saved the um, record label and saved the family when he came up with the Romeo. I mean, the No Limit Kids. The line of clothes. Well, Romeo said he ain't never seen no royalties from that. See what I mean? That's a mess. That's a complete or the rap mess. Man. That's why the, the, <laughs> the music <laughs> industry in the industry needs to put that in place. When you bringing your children in as child actors or rappers or musicians and stuff, that they got this stuff in place for these kids because they ended up. That's what happened to Bow Wow and the Jim and Jermaine going through it. They made all that money. The mama. Then yeah. Bow Wow ain't got no yeah. money. I had to get from the bike apartment rent money. <laughs> Uh, talk about it. That, see, that's that's the the rich, now Romeo made a lot yes. of money as a kid, and Bow Wow yes, did. did. Now, yes, they did. Yes, they did. And then they Romeo did. said the money that he did make that the that, uh, Master P owed all of it in taxes. He had to pay yes. the taxes. So it ain't no money. So what happened to the rat snacks? Because you know them, them used to be the snacks. He what said he they sell them. them. They sell them in Detroit. They sell them. They sell them. They still they sell sell he, Romeo said he just got with the rap snacks people to get everything Trent put in his name. How many years later? That's sad. Master P, a low down, dirty ass nigga. Father 35 or Father 3. He said he had been promoting rap snacks for more than 15 years off the word of his dad. And he, he never got an account a statement or a royalty from him. Pull up what Master Ooh, P got. Wow. Pull it up. Yeah, pull, pull him up. I got to get out of character and put this on the internet, which I don't want to do. But I try to call my son. People say, why you call? I did. He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo, like if you've been in the business for long as you've been in and you're a 30 something year old man, and if you've been around me, watching me hustle and do my thing, 
Why you not where you want to be at? Because that means you're not listening. That means you want to do your own thing. You done brought your own circle, your own circle of people. But you can't get mad at me because I really thought this was about, the only reason I entertain this on social media, I thought it was about the DJ Twitch uh, post that I put up. And I thought it was about my daughter's death. I thought she was grieving. Mental illness is, is real. But I want to tell all the people out there that just don't understand how bad my heart hurt. Romeo lost a sister, but I lost a daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, because I know that it brings people closer together or it tear them apart. But I come from nothing, y'all. And I could go back. I'm cool with it. I won't be angry at God. I won't be upset. I won't go get mad and, and be disrespectful to my parents and none of that stuff. I just said, Dad, thank you for putting me in this world. Now I can get out and hustle and go do my thing. But that's the problem. When you take kids and you, you kind of like uh, protect them from the real struggle and the pain and you don't allow them to deal with their own consequences and then I would here go what in the Jamal Brian you ain't went to that boy and said <laughs> boom I think part of that is true I think part of his statement is true I think that parents who had a hard struggle I mean I had it with myself I had a hard struggle as a teen mom I made sure that I, I paved the way for my children and there were moments where they felt super entitled. And I'm like, you know, my son 29 now. I'm like, son, get out of the dope, baby. You can't, I'm not the ATM no more. But that's so, different. So, he that's used different. Son as a brand. I, his son is the one made money for the fans. Exactly. I agree. I agree. Exactly. I agree. You could have put right. 60% to the side, or you could have got your cut as a manager, dad. Give me 60, get you yes. 40. If you yes. get 30, exactly. I get keep my 60 but, in the but front. Master so I get P. Really, 25. Master, right, but Master P talking about some get out and hustle. It ain't in Romeo. He's a Hollywood no, that man, that's what that man, man what he owed. No when that guy saying, oh, look, boy, you can't do what I did. I, I, I deserve all the money I got. Right, right, I, right, I, right, I, right, right, right. Get that baby what? Get that baby. His, he, this little Romeo, the little kids like little Romeo. Give him his right. royalty from that. Give him his money. He should always make him that even now he should not be broke motherfucker exactly. he should not be broke right. he should wasn't not be he about broke. to lose his house or something oh i ain't got to split it with you we ain't got to do business because you my son right, that. But see you're right you're right kaya see but i think that is that whole you know people who have their struggle they do use their parents it's the everybody pimping everybody i mean you know, of course, but he ain't used his parents working. though. They used but him. But no, I'm saying they used him. That's what I'm exactly. saying. Yeah. And then little Romeo feeling bad by his siblings because it's like, oh, you treated me like I was the favorite best child because I was your your bag. Ooh, my ooh, that part. Was really a struggle. That part. You know, and then I got to that deal part. with my siblings, and I can't even bless them because you ain't blessing them because they ain't making you no money. Then I'm feeling like, damn, I'm holding the world on my motherfucking shoulder. Yeah. 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 Now my yeah. sister gone. She done cried to me about your sorry ass. Yeah. And now you can see is I'm an ungrateful brat that don't appreciate what you did. Yes. If you can yes. do it, you yes. can yes. do it without yes. me. Yes. It was all you. That ain't what it's about, daddy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can put that I shit out now. She going out of day oh, and they keep no, all these secrets. Like you know, secrets make you sick, and all these kids is coming out and telling the truth. People tired. Oh, They've been having secrets for years. You know what I mean? Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. Forth the image. And it's that like, you know what? Like, I can't do this no more. I can't do this no more. When that you boy got on up, on the hill. So <laughs> in your mind in check, do the right thing, mm. do the work, heal. Yeah. Yeah, you know, heal. Ooh, this stuff ain't gonna mean you no good if your spirit and your mind is fucked up. Yeah. Okay. Then, not only that, Master P yeah. talk about his son was being entitled. All I heard was entitlement in that video because you better say, like, you better say. I, I, I paid the cost. I did. Yes, you. Then did. now that you grown and you were being hard headed, you said you could do it. Like do it. That's right. Like, yeah. I was about that. Right. Where's the money? I need cash now. Eight seven seven cash now. <laughs> and as a and as a, and as a December, I got a wife and a child. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. And I'm struggling, and I don't understand. And then people yeah, coming to me saying, "Well, damn, you a little Romeo? Where your royalty?" He's like, well, "I don't know nothing about that. I ain't never fucked right. my daddy." Right. And it's like, "Oh, you yeah. take advantage of you, little dude." Then he's like, "I trust him with yeah. that." I thought it was no. You need to tighten that up, uh, Master P. I think it's gonna backfire. I think they you put his ass on the dock. Yeah. Put his ass. Mm -hmm. We the people trying you because you know how I go to the grand jury, Romeo. You got a case. 
got a case. He better give you your money. And as of December 13th, Queen, Master P is worth $200 million. Um, you need to start yeah. some of that you shit. Oh, my God. Stop oh. playing. What? Yes, he is. He worth $200 million. He got a bag. You put his fucking money. Give him his cut of his money. Right, right. Money, We all love Lil Ron Meow. All do. And we love the No Limit Soldiers, too. I'm sure you owe them some loyalty. Who the who? It's your own family that you need to take care of, motherfucker. <laughs> Good night, baby. <laughs> Get everybody their money. Get everybody their money. Take the turkey to you. Get the little Romeo out. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be out here doing what I'm supposed to do, giving back to the needy. <laughs> I know he say that. Y'all heard that, Miss? I yeah. heard him say that, but I think part of that is true. I think it is like one or two people in the family that everybody pulling on to be the provider. But yeah. I still say he had Master P in all the wisdom that he exuded at times, it didn't make sense what he said related to you see my hustle, you see what I'm doing, you don't want to teach them how to feel have it like, like that wasn't in him. He exactly. never had that them. He don't them. Know how to do it. He don't like what are you saying? He's yeah, like I'm entitled to this. <laughs> Boy, his damn money. That's all. Ain't no use. Ain't no normal money. Get that boy his goddamn money. The wind should have blown that nigga off that goddamn cliff, Queen. That's what the wind should have did. We gonna see this nigga. I said he was gonna flip and fall on wind. We gonna come through and trip his ass off the motherfucking cliff. It's time. Like, and now social media is everybody's uh, everybody's venting space, which is sad. It is but insane. he probably felt like his dad would only listen to his side if he put that out because now Master P doing whole videos to the world. Child, so, what about all the money he spent on them holes to keep their mouth closed and telling his mama he was about all that money from the holes who was cheating on your wife that stood beside you? Yes, <laughs> all the right written mortgages and trick ass holes bills you paid. You could have gave that come little on, woman. Come on, Sucking come dick on, come on. Mama ain't left your come ass for nothing. Sucking dick for poor child. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, well, we oh gonna be back on the docket Monday night at eight, child. Coming up here with that guy there. On the Romeo side now. Yes, we on Romeo side because when yeah, Romeo got up yeah. there and said that he ain't made no money as little Romeo. And that I know that fun. poem he wrote; it was really good. Yeah, it was emotional. Yeah, it touched me. It touched my spirit. That baby yeah, tells money, me. Master P. Give him his money. Okay, they say Aunt Bob be out here. They said she done got some more work done and her knees look like they're fine. Oh, they think she's fine. She done got the Wonder Woman got a little skin tight. Yeah, she done got the Wonder Woman got a little skin tight. Yeah, she done got the Wonder Woman got a little skin tightened up a little bit. She out here trying to twerk, but she still can't bend down with them knees. Uh uh. Amy, you know, let's see them knees because they say oh, she was shit. out here looking for. Oh, not that video. Oh, shit. Waist getting smaller, niggas on. Ah, uh, we got to see because they say, they say, <laughs> <laughs> they say what? Oh, shit. Waist getting smaller, niggas on Instagram. <laughs> like, damn, I need to call her. That body perfect in my eyes. Oh, shit. Waist getting smaller, niggas on Instagram. Like, damn, I need to call her. That body perfect. Uh, we're about to dance. How we talking about that? They say one no man body, oh so she my man. gosh, wow, <laughs> like a transformation. Hell no, <laughs> I don't like, like a geriatric it. patient. Uh -uh. Child, our mother look like one of them goddamn blink robots. Child, that bitch to know we do not like our bar. That body is bad as hell, and her neck look like a spoon. Y'all ain't see her knees about to give out on her when she try to dip below like this. She's about arm. to give out. But I get, I said, well, she wanted to be little so bad now, look like her head bigger than her body. Yeah. Man. I wish when she said, all that weight they all like lose all that weight like that, it seemed like their heads be bigger than their body. What is what is that? What is what are they doing? Her head, her, her body look bigger than her head. They should have blew her head up just a little bit just to match the body because it looked like the body bigger than their head. <laughs> Sure. The body bigger. That's what I mean. It, it looks something. But wrong. see, everybody ain't made to be that shape. That's the problem with all these surgeries. Everybody's not made she to look be like that. she was still in pain. She healed. Mm -hmm. We the people say call doctor now from six hundred pound life child. Mm -hmm. 
and get that. So we ain't feeling the body. We ain't gonna we ain't get we ain't feeling the new the, the, the new makeover. Not at all, Queen. We the people wanted to pull on the docket. They say she was she, they say they, 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 they say they weren't feeling it that she still looked like her knees and her feet was hurting and she can hardly do it. Is you live? Yes, I'm live, Queen. Hey baby. Is it me? Hey. Oh. You like Akbar's transformation? Uh, I can't tell who it is anymore. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 What's, what, what's, what's so confusing about the case, like that man said, he said they tried to throw her in the lake. It was like <laughs> they were trying to murder her that night and get rid of her. Oh. And so it's like she out there by herself completely because they all was ganging up against her trying to murder her that night. I mean, that's what I think it was. After hearing that man say that today, it's like, damn, no wonder, nothing else makes sense because they was all in trying to get rid of Meg that night and it didn't happen. So now they're like, damn, they got to go through all this other BS. But that's just me, though. So you think you know, was trying to kill her? Well, who was trying to kill her? The Illuminati? That man lied. I ain't say all that. I'm talking about the three people that was there. No, the bodyguard, no, the uh, best friend, and Floyd Lane. They was get, trying to get rid of her that night. They ain't just tell you. She was supposed to be murdered that night, but it didn't happen. And it wasn't her around the area. Because why were they trying to throw her in the lake for? What? I mean, she would have she died that night out there. That man was tired, Queen. That man was tired. That man he was said tired, he drunk, and delayed. So he was still tired. They weren't trying to throw that damn horse in no but, goddamn but, lake. Throw that damn horse. But, 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 but why would he come up with something like that? That's just weird. Like, you know, that made more sense than anything else that's going on in the case. No, that man ain't trying to. I don't know. know. Look that just gagged me. That that gagged me. That like, gag damn, three that. people trying to throw one person in the lake. What well, what they was trying to do with that person? Right, right, right. Over and what? Over what? Them in the window. That's when they put the body back in the car and kept going. Over what though? Why would they throw right. in the lake? Over that, yeah, because the serious part. You and, and right. Kelsey. That's not even serious to throw nobody in the lake. And Kylie. Beluga. And Kylie. That. Mm. Where the and fuck I, is the driver? Well, they did just leave the witch's house that night, too. Come on now. <laughs> Kylie Jenner. I mean, who knows what the what was going on there that night? I mean, they could have had a big orgy. I mean, everything could have went haywire that night. I mean, I'm just saying the stuff that they're not saying, they're not going to say. You know, we got to think beyond what they're telling us because I just think it was more, I think it's more deeper. And when that man said they try to throw that, three people try to throw one person in the lake or something like that, I said, it makes more sense now because none of this making sense. Some, they're not telling us something and something was going on at that Jenner's house. Something was definitely going on. What? Definitely what they tell him about going back to get a fucking slipper now. Come on. He testified, well, he said he thought they were going to. He packed the bags and that he made yeah. sure that they were drunk, but he made sure that, that yes, she got yeah. in the car to leave. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. The bodyguard missing. The best friend and turn on her. I mean, it's just all not adding up and all making Meg look bad. But that, I don't think that even what the case was that night. I just think right. something else was going on that night. And it, like, just like that Cabo Six, they all was planning against her and she didn't know about it. That's what I think was happening that night. You know, with Meg the Stallion, just look at how everything looking against her. I don't think she was shot. I mean, I think she was shot, yeah. <laughs> But I don't think, she, of course, she is she herself. Somebody shot her, mm -hmm. you know? And it's just none of it's making sense. And uh, it's just a confusing case. And I just feel bad for Meg to style, you know? And I'm not even the biggest fan of her music because she doesn't really talk up about women like Kaya music does. Kaya tells women to get out of bad stuff, uplifting women. Her, leg, her, her music is totally opposite. You know, I don't really like her music like that. But what's happening to her in the media is, is kind of messed up. And she is with Jay Z and Beyonce, so who knows what's really going on with all of this? But it just don't look good on Meg at all. I can't believe you know? that she didn't have anybody by her side. Like I would have. Mm -hmm. Right, where's your people? Right. Oh, I she think she had a best friend. She don't have nobody really. If you look at it, I mean, she's out there by herself. Yes, and that's in the last time we seen like, Meg in public. I think she already gone. Mm -hmm. Reports clearly. Uh, that night that Meg Megan was shot. Mm -hmm. And that left my impression that she was killed. I was up late that night when that report came out. 
and I was watching Instagram when she was up in the pool with Kylie. Yeah, because Tori came up behind her. Mm -hmm. I think. He, and true. they said, and they testified and said that they had left when Tori got there. They did not leave. EJ said that Megan Thee Stallion and Kelsey went through about seven bottles of of liquor. That not night. seven bottles. Yes, he testified. That's what he testified on the trial. At the trial, said that they went through about seven bottles of liquor. He said that he packed the bags. He said he did see a weapon in Megan's bag, but he saw something that looked like a gun. But he didn't go through it. He just put stuff over it. He put the bags in the back of the trunk. And he made sure that Kelsey and Megan and Tori, Meg, Kelsey and Megan got in that car before he left. They tried to say that he was gone before they got in the car, and that's not true. He made sure that they got in that car. He said he don't know how that bag got from the trunk to the motherfucking front seat, but a gun was found under Louis Vuitton bag where Megan Thee Stallion was riding in the passenger side. Okay? Mm. Now, what I think was is that she, Megan had said that she was going... She need she forgot her slipper, but she didn't forget her slipper. She forgot her man, Tory Lanez. First of all, that's not even your man. That's Ooh, uh, that is uh, Tory from from Kelsey. So I think when when Megan was going back, I feel like at some point they pulled over, like, or she said, Kelsey, get my goddamn bag back there. Somebody about to get shot tonight. Somebody about to get fucked up tonight. And I believe she took that gun out of her bag and put it under her little guitar bag. And when she went in there, she called Tory and Kylie flirting. She made sure before she left again that he was in that truck with them going to wherever they was going. And then that's when all the shit happened. You know, but EJ said that they was drunk. He said that Kelsey was floating in the pool, drunk in the motherfucker, sleep, dr drunk, said that uh, uh, Megan was supposed to be cooking some tacos or whatever, but she left She left some goddamn meat full of grease on Kylie's stove and was throwing Ooh. shade. And EJ said that when Megan started throwing shade, when made that slick comment, to um to Kylie talk about oh because I thought you was lame she said he said he knew it was time to go but that man testified that he thought they was about to throw her in the river because of how close they was to it but I just don't believe that Tory security guard Tory and Kelsey jumped on Megan no I don't believe that. what because why she ain't say that why Ooh. she ain't Nobody testified that. All oh, they testified that it was a fight between Megan and Kelsey, but Megan and Kelsey said it was a bump. That man was drunk. right because they had something. They, they ain't talking about that. They, they, like they all talking about something unhidden, but he saw something he wasn't supposed to see. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I felt. Mm -hmm. And they it probably went back to his house that same yeah. night. <laughs> Yeah, he said he I didn't pack a gun. He said he 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 didn't pack a gun. He in the bed with a white man. It was his first movie, but he said he don't he don't he don't want to do raps. Remember, he don't do raps and curse. He don't curse in his verses. He don't do none of that. Mm -hmm. It's like his whole career is a big lie. His, his his marriage is a lie, and now he's trying to do these emancipation movies, trying to make like he's such su such a black power guy. But really, he all been a lie his whole career is what I feel, and it's, that's how I feel about Will Smith. He's a whole sham. His whole career is a sham. His marriage is a sham. And he's been playing, and he's living a lie. His whole life is a lie, still to this day. But he wants to be an emancipation. Uh, I will not be supporting. I hope nobody else supporting him. And it's not only about nothing to do with the slap. It's what happened after the slap, how you acted with the fake apologies and all that BS. I mean, of course, you're going to slap somebody when your wife tell you to, but she's fucking up your career. You don't really love her. I mean, you're not Tupac. You're never going to be Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Your first movie was The Six Degrees of Separation. And then what, what was he? Gay for pay. In the bed with white men, right? The, the rapper, right? This was, this, was, this was all during the time in the 90s. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If y'all remember, it was Six Degrees of Separation with uh, Donald Sutherland was in it with him. And he, that was the man who had him in his house. He, they had his gay guy in his house. He was gay for pay. And he left them to go be with another, another bisexual couple. Will Smith was the star in the movie. That was his first movie. But he don't do no Django. He don't do Django Unchained. Mm -hmm. Come on now. But now you're doing emancipation now after everything else because you want us to support you. 
That's all I'm saying. How fake is that? It's just continuous fake. It's just lie and sham. It's not time for you know, put them on the docket for it. Something is missing in this whole story. It just seems so Hollywoodish to me and such a distraction. I just don't believe it. Okay, thank you, Queen. Love you guys. Have a good one. Yes, we the people have spoken. We the people want to bring Will Smith up on the docket. They don't want to see a masturbation. They say he tired and full. Did anybody go and see the new Avatar movie? Mm -hmm. Girl, yes. Let me tell you. Why did I go see that movie it with was. my twins? It was excellent, fantastic, but it was three hours and ten minutes long. I was so hungry <laughs> up in there. Do not. You know you to eat popcorn, some poor and I was so mad I ain't sneak no damn food in that movie. So I ain't okay. Because I'm about to pay no fourteen dollars for no damn nachos. Okay. <laughs> it was long. Yeah. It was so long, and then them people would scare me with their faces. You know, <laughs> they they changed the the makeup and CGI just a little bit. But yeah. It was good, but girl, I'm telling, I tell everybody, eat before you take your tail up in that damn movie because you're gonna be starving. <laughs> Gag order. Now, at least we know you better take a tub of that chicken up in there. Is you live? <laughs> Not tub of yeah. We live, baby. What's <laughs> it? Bitch, that bitch, that Kelsey either got paid off because there is no motherfucking way that bitch has uh, amnesia. Child what the fuck? She time. played the fifth. She played the fifth. She knew the whole story the first time. Now she don't know shit. Right. Bitch got paid off. Yes. There's got to be no other motherfucking way. So do you think it's going to be a mistrial or a not guilty verdict? It's going to be a mistrial because yeah, none of these people mistrial. can prove shit. Because Tori don't know who can shot the gun. Obviously, somebody had a gun. Oh, yeah. And so out of the three people, in the, it's, it's going to be not going to shoot herself. Or maybe she struggled with the gun. But regardless, she was out of the truck. Somebody shot towards the pavement. And it had to be one of the three. And it wasn't the driver. So... Figure it out. One of these, these two motherfuckers are either somebody bribing somebody yes. or somebody is just trying to back the other one up because Tori don't want to get deported. So, And then Kelsey husband works for uh, 1501. I just found that out. What Ooh, the fuck? So this go. bitch got some stock in making sure... Megan is found guilty, so it'll go worse with her uh, case against 1501. And then they say Rock Nation trying to drop her. Uh, well, they <laughs> drop everybody. Uh, <laughs> uh, she a liability at this point. They didn't support me for my goddamn court case. Queen, when are you going to come out with your own biopic? Mm, I don't know. Hope this, uh, so we need to hear the Kaya good. story. I'm like, sometime in the future. I ain't old yet. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. Roast, still with us, and, and you still <laughs> hot on the street. I'm gonna make sure because there are a lot of people asking me about that. So, gotta get it done. Somebody doing what? this story right here because that's why I, did. I said this trial must be a production because it's crazy. Have you heard? Uh, supposedly, somebody leaked Cardi album. How this uh -huh. is. It's a guy right singing all the song. Well, we're just calling to say we love you. Love we love you, Kaya. Love you. Thank you, baby. Hold on. I got one more question, Queen. Go ahead. Who buying your album? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> love y'all. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, baby. Y'all so damn So the album leak, when is it supposed to come out? Mm. Was it a real one? Because it took too we long. Don't care. We don't care. It shouldn't have took you so yes. She leaked her own album, child. Like ho on say. Oh, child. Ooh. Ooh. Well, is it gonna be out for Christmas? This is the time to go on and put it on out there. Is you live? I'm live, Queen. Hey baby. Um, I just wanna get well, first of all. Um, I just want to say this before I start gagging, but uh, I was at uh, CDL school in Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. And one of my um, classmates, they were saying, your account is closed, but it's a fish in, but I'm a queen when I say that gag. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's the cat back, and I was like, yeah, what, queen, you is, you is out there. 
But anyways, <laughs> for the cast or whatever, uh, I want to put Candy on the docket. Why the fuck is Candy keep making these skits? <laughs> <laughs> they made me fuck. Oh, that shit was funny. Everybody's roasting so, Candy. They want Candy. Like, like, God damn, God. these, these skits is like, it's their lane. Candy, <laughs> you too old to be doing all that. Wow, uh, we got to pull up the skits so we can see what's going on. Candy, you, the bag. You, you, to you will make a tired ass skits that nobody, including Todd, want to see. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> think he a beard. I'm trying to tell you. So what do you <laughs> think? She posting on her Instagram? Uh, I don't know, child. Candy. <laughs> so I want to get, they say Candy and Tamar getting into it again. What's the Muppet mad about now? <laughs> they, got they, got into it now. they got into it again. Candy and Tamar. What? <laughs> I, I thought they were eating each other pussy. Uh -uh. Oh. Candy girl. Candy girl. <laughs> you know they want a candy girl. When you say that, I holla. I holla. <laughs> That's for horse. I want to see it from the world, though. I don't want to know how long they had been before um before him and Fallon broke up. Mm. Then she ran at the wedding just throwing her ass. How long did you go last? Not less last, than a year. Less than a year? You know all she do is date beers. <laughs> yes, and that's why I say, girl, your pussy smell like I, I don't understand why she can't spot her. I also want to put Wendy Wing. So, okay, I never seen the biopic until yesterday, right? Uh huh. And I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't, I was missing when the story had came out. I was missing so many details. I didn't know that the man Kevin was with the woman, living with the woman. But and Wendy basically was okay with it at a certain point until she he had that baby. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know that until I watched the biopic. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Wendy, how did you not realize like that man was with a whole nother woman? I, I, I just Wendy don't understand that. Bills then. That's why I don't know why she act like she went with it. We I'm got Wendy Wendell, Bartholomew. We got Wendy Wendell. At the, they say she was on Broadway. She had to take a gig to pay her rent until they let her money go. And then that, that's that's one money cut off. <laughs> What's the one conclusion I can bring this number to? What's the one conclusion I can bring this number to? What Wendy doing? <laughs> Was that Wendy? Up there sounding yeah. like candy. What's the one conclusion I can bring <laughs> this number to? Queen, you muted. Wendy Wendell doing to pay the rent. She's doing everything to pay them bills, and it's looking a little strange to me. I think yes, I yes, would no, be really using her as a, a clown right now. She looking like a clown. They wrong for doing Wendy down. like it. Yes, yeah, the... I'm so wrong. <laughs> we cannot. <laughs> yeah. Nah, we cannot gag on the That party. shit was a mess. What's your gag? What's your last gag, baby? <laughs> okay, so I want to get it. Love and Hip Hop Family Edition. Um, why do they keep bringing back tricks for one? Like, wait, wait. I'm okay. Season one, he was okay, but bringing him back every season, I'm tired of that shit. Trick, I, I, I'm, I'm tired of looking at Trick. And then Carly Red, let's get on her case. Ooh. Carly, Ooh. why you Carly Red, you on the docket? She got five pounds, and you you didn't do that shit to Jocelyn. Jocelyn would have beat the fuck out of Carly. So who cut down the whole face and shit? The whole plastic. On her face, it looked terrible. It do look terrible. That whole, as a matter of fact, that whole franchise, it's like everybody on that show got they something done to their face. Almost everybody on, in that That's franchise. Sad. Mona Pam, they said. With her bad body ass. Mm -mm. And you got Cambella. Uh, what about, what's the one that said she got raped? Child. Alexis Sky. 
like that. What's her name? Alexis Sky. Yeah, her bringing up that story. I believe it, but it's like, quit using that. You just want a pity party for mm-hmm. that. Which, I, nothing wrong. It's not, I'm, I'm messing wrong with it, but I'm just saying, you don't have to bring it up every five seconds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, that whole, that show is tied and through. Yes, yeah, and we just, just say it's tied and through. Yes. 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 Thank you, baby. Okay. I'm bye bye. <laughs> Ain't nobody. That- I didn't even know they had that on. Look, I will be watching them. They all look a fucking mess with the bamboo lips and shit. Fucking pants on. We the people, we, we putting Carly Red on the docket. Yes, they say Lamar Odom got a new show called Sex, Drugs, and the Kardashians coming out. Yeah. Trying to what? secure the man and selling all the teas. Mm-hmm. Do people want to know? Is we you want- live? Oh, now a live for real? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Hello? You gagging us? Yeah, is this Kaya? Yes. Hello? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh-huh, I can. Oh, okay. I thought the phone got breaking up, but yeah, what's going on, Kaya? What's up with you? I'm good. What's up with you? Ah, uh, man, stress on job, man. Mm. <laughs> so, like, my supervisor getting on my nerve, you know, he's always on my neck about everything, you know? Your neck and your back. Uh, it's like, it's getting to a point like it's like stressing me out. I'm like, I'm doing my job, like get off my back, man, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know, man. You fed but, up, you fed up, you got a side hustle, you ready to be an entrepreneur? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think I'm at that point yet, mm-hmm. but I, I might have to go to that, you know? Because <laughs> mm-hmm. the way things are looking now, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't but, let it you stress know. you out, baby. Don't let it stress you out. You got to go to work. You got to get the money. You got to pay the bills. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying. I'm trying not to flip out. You know what I'm saying? Out. But it's just like, you know, my my supervisor. He's like he's foreign or whatever. And like you know, like I come to realization. I'm like, dang, like you always attacking minorities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's like that. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. And, like, you know, I was actually happy for him. Like, yeah, he got the, you know, somebody of color got the, the job. And, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't for us either, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm just like, and then he just let the white people sit up there do nothing. You know what I'm saying? All night, they practically doing nothing, you know? But he want to be on my case about everything, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, Mr. Jack. <laughs> I'm like, that's a shame, man, you know? That's mm-hmm. a, you better off reaching the skin white, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that D? You can't have a yes, conversation yes. with him? Yes, yes. He, he, he catered so much to the, the, the uh, white people on first shift. Like, oh, I got to listen to them. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, Let's put the supervisor on the docket. And not even realizing that you're uh, to help your people. Mm-hmm. Yup, yup. Like, I'm trying to do the best I can, man. Just, da, 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 da. Like, oh, I'm like, yo, get off my back, man. Mm. Like always making it hard for people, you know. Mm-hmm. Queen, yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah, I'm be all right, you know. I just it, tune them out, and you know, I, I try to listen to you the time to time because you like your gags, man. If you had me on the floor, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so I, I appreciate that, man. Because when I be having them stressful days, I'm like, let me just listen to Cal. Like you just be going in on celebrities and stuff. Yeah. So I appreciate that, you know. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You help, really get, help me get through a lot of depressing times, you know? Like yeah. you said, last is the best medicine, you it know? It is. And they call the gag line, because if they go to getting on your nerves, call me. I'll gag you through it. <laughs> oh, Carl, don't let them stress you out where you have to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right, you're right. You, you just got to be but, temporary until you get you something better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be all right. You know, I'm mm-hmm. all right. But uh, yeah, like I um, I sent you that song last. Time. I know you got a chance to hear it, but I know you probably like flooded with emails and stuff like yes, that. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna try to send it to you again. Look out for the track. It's called Frozen. All right. Frozen. All right. Sounds good. Frozen. Frozen. All right. I'll send it over. All right, baby. Thank you. All right. Bye. Take care. Right, Wait. I was gonna tell him to call the NCB. You know, we'll put their ass on blast. Oh. Uh. <laughs> you know what? And that's why I be like, God damn, I'm so glad you don't know. Well, you ain't really got to clock in and have to be putting up with that because that's what make motherfuckers come to the job not blowing bitches up. Mm-hmm. That's right. right. People don't be wanting to be dealing with that. They got to deal with shit at home, too. Okay. Too much. Well, what, are, what are they to do? I don't know. You know, some of these, I don't know. They you sit in the car, meditate for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Something. Quit. Find another you job. Need, you need your job because you got, you got bills. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. 
Working honest, but it pays the bills. That's why yeah. you got to save. That's why you got to save your money. So I made money. it online. You made it, baby. Please. Well, what y'all gang about tonight? I just got Ooh. off. Oh, you just got off. We getting ready to get by yes, Bishop man, Lamar about to roll my back <laughs> Bishop <laughs> Lamar Whitehead. They sent it in that he got arrested. The pastor that um claimed that his church had gotten oh, robbed. They um, arrested him for extortion, fraud, um, and false statements. The feds went in and got him. And, um, you know, we're trying to figure out what's up with Bishop Lamar Whitehead. Number one, don't trust no nigga. Number two, don't trust the motherfucking Christians. Okay. They steal the fucking money. They take the money out, out your head and out the fucking bed, under the bed and in the closet. Yeah, take it all. So who did he? I really. Who did he store? His members. Oh yes, ma'am. That's how it. That's really how it is. They so. sit there. I remember I had a situation where this guy was explaining to me how his dad had passed away. He really wasn't tight with his mom, and his mom was giving all the money to the church. And when it came down, came mm -hmm. time to pay, bury the dad, they didn't want to bury the dad. And it's the guy had told him, "Either y'all gonna bury my dad, I'm gonna burn this motherfucker down." Right. So the church is the number one scam yeah like mm -hmm. they really are i'm not surprised i really am not surprised miss kyle they got his ass the feds got his ass they say he's looking at 65 years well he better scoot over and tell Ke or kelly to scoot over and let him know Ooh. the booty goose is on the way <laughs> yo booty goose is on the way <laughs> yo r kelly y'all about leave well, r kelly they, alone they, r kelly over they've been doing that and you know how white superiority are superiority is they feel like they don't have to do the time they can do the crime but they don't have to do the time they can do fraud but as soon as we do fraud it's a fucking problem right i you know the Yo, system thing. is not built for us and kaya watching your channel and you know listening to you and you like low-key ministering to us like we really got to go out here and get it on our own because if it was up to the white people they have our whole fucking check. We'll be back slaves if it was up to them. It's mm -hmm. for real. Like mm -hmm. they really don't care. Mm -hmm. But Miss mm -hmm. yes, Kaya, I did call to gag uh Tadisha <laughs> and um on, and, and uh Maddie, if you listening, bitch, keep Kaya name out your fucking mouth. Oh, she don't no. want to do an interview. I know your money getting low, 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 down to the flow, flow, low, flow, low, flow, low, flow. Low, but Kaya is the goddess in the river cell ever flow with her own finances, baby. Kaya, I mean, Miss Maddie, please keep Kaya name. No, that's what I really wanted to say, Miss Kaya. Oh, thank you, baby. Low, low, low. All right, I'm going to finish watching Gag Garden. Y'all keep the call it rolling. All right, baby. Good night. Uh, <laughs> they trying to use the queen for promotion. I guess. What did nigga say? Oh, Bishop Lamar Whitehead, Queen Bishop Lamar uh -huh. Whitehead said he is uh, not guilty, you know, for 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 him to have so much to say about Larry Reed and, you know, talk all that shit about Larry Reed. He had much to say yesterday. But this is the video that he, you know, he put out about him not being guilty of this. Tune in. Uh, this is not going to be a long message. However, um, I believe it's going to be effective. So um, if you guys can come on in and join me as... Um, as we have a conversation, a quick conversation um, as to what's going on, um, as to um, a lot of things, a lot of things. So y'all tune on in. Amen. And um, give you guys time to tune in. Amen. Thank everybody, all the ones that's been praying for me, the ones that's been in the spirit. Amen. Thank y'all so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I just want to give y'all a few more minutes to tune in. A few more minutes to tune in. Amen. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and um, all of the support. Um, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Just want to give you guys a few more minutes because I'm only doing this once today. And um, and um, I, I really thank you guys for um, everything that you've done, everyone that's been praying for me, everyone that's been um, rooting for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you so much. All right, let me get right to it. Um, as you guys know, um, and the media let you guys know, I was 
arrested yesterday. And um, just because you are arrested doesn't make you guilty. It's the way of the world. And um, we live in a place called America and you are innocent till proven guilty. So I wanted to come on today to express to everyone that's been asking questions and interviews and things that, uh, uh, all the requests, some, some questions that you guys are asking me. First of all, I wanna say that I'm not guilty. <laughs> I wanna make that clear, y'all. That's why I have a smile on my face. I'm in amazing spirit. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm great, you know what I mean? And I'm not guilty. And um, I wanna first thank my wife, my family, and my church for supporting me 10 toes down. Thank you guys so much. And you know, you know who Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead is. And you know that I always tell you guys, 10 toes down, stand firm. We are innovators, we are trendsetters. And we need to make sure that God gets the glory out of all of this. And sometimes we have to go through a process. We have a purpose, we have a process, and we have a promise. And our process is always not easy. And sometimes we say, why am I going through this? So I ask each and every one of you because I've been getting so many um, calls and texts um, about people trying to slander me and um, people um, saying some just crazy strange, weird, deranged things. And I'm just asking you guys, don't make the same mistake that you made when my church was robbed. The world went against me. You guys, the media, social media, you guys turned me from a victim to a villain. And everybody said I set up the robbery. Everybody, they was 1,000% sure. They was 1,000% sure that I set up the robbery. And then when they caught, um, and then when they caught the uh, two out of the three of the men that robbed my church, everybody got quiet. I need y'all to give me an opportunity. Give my attorneys. I have the best attorney. So he ain't had on them Gucci suit today. We the people say he ain't had on no designer while he made this video. What he got? Who 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 the fraud from? He this ain't. Lamar is a mess. A, a hot mess and he mm -hmm. using the people of god like this is a he's a he's a clown too i'm sorry he is yeah, he gonna go get your niggas fucked up he the main and one. the irs gonna get his ass mm -hmm. and he yeah, keep on talking him. about the he irs is worse robbery. than the, the cops just because just because the police just because the police arrested the dudes that you claim robbed your church two of the three doesn't mean that you ain't turn them in it don't mean that you weren't part of the the setup but they charged right. him when they said that Lamar Whitehead, who leads a church in Brooklyn, New York, has engaged in a course of conduct in which he sought money and other things of value from victims on the basis of either threats or false promises that the victims' investments would benefit the victims financially. First, Whitehead induced one of his parishioners to invest approximately $90,000 of her retirement savings with him. But instead, he spent the investment on luxury goods and other personal purposes. Secondly, Whitehead extorted a businessman for five thousand, then attempted to convince the same businessman to lead him, lend him five hundred thousand dollars and give him a stake in a certain real estate transaction in return for favorable actions from the New York City government, which Whitehead knew he could not obtain. In addition, when speaking with the FBI agents who were executing a search warrant, Whitehead falsely claimed that he had no cell phones other than the phone he was carrying when, in fact, Whitehead owned a second phone, which he regularly used to communicate, including to send a text message describing it as, quote, my other phone, shortly after telling agents he had no other phone. It said he's charged with two counts of wire fraud, and he is charged with one count of extortion. Uh, all three carries the maximum sentence of 60, excuse me, all 60 years, and making false statements to the FBI carries a sentence of five years. Mm. Back to that case. Mm. So he scammed the lady out of her money with a church member. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Y'all gonna hate me for this. Y'all gonna yeah. hate me for this, but I will gladly sit on his motherfucking face. 
Ah, ah. Killing his head no. Oh. <laughs> 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 them suits today. So where the wife at? They said she living in the hotel. She don't want nothing to do with him or under baby. They said she living in a hotel. They said she don't want to turn his ass in. You know, she had been getting called. Uh, she had been getting called. These show turning their back on these no good at niggas, ain't it? Can we all just get along? She said she wasn't caught up in that shit. She said that she wasn't going down with him. And she got a hotel room. And she been staying at the hotel, allegedly. Uh, mm. So we so believe him or he going to jail? He lying. He lying. Being that he has priors, he might be doing some prison time. I don't think it's going to be this full 60 years, depending on how the trial, you know, uh, goes. You know, federal federal uh, trials are not public. You know, they're not like, you know, broadcast public, but of course they will be reported from. But it just all depends. That's crazy. Ain't he the one that was trying to bop that lady in the head when she was trying to attack his wife? Yeah, he choked her ass and she took out the jerk. I know she's somewhere sitting and gagging. So what's going on with this chef with Lil Wayne say she need five hundred thousand dollars because she had to leave work to go see about her son that had a medical emergency uh, at hit his head, and Lil Wayne fired her uh, for huh? leaving, and she wanted half a million dollars. Yeah. Well, she said that uh, you know she had told Lil Wayne that she had to go and you know go take care of her child because her child was sick. And you know, Luane wasn't trying to hear that or none of that. And you know, he said that he fired that you know he fired her, and uh, you know, sent a text message saying that he you know he didn't want to use her no more. That it wasn't going to work. And she said that under uh, California labor laws, you can't fire someone who missed work to take care of their child, injured or sick child. So she may have a claim for five hundred grand. Five hundred grand. Can ask for more. Um, gag order. Let's talk about the order. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. Did you lie? Gag order. Let's talk about the order. Hello. Hey. My mom watches you. <laughs> Where's she at? I wanted to say hi. Hi. Tell mom I said hi. She, she said hello. 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 Okay. All right, baby. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> you like my mom watches you. Oh. Okay. Everybody watch the queen. Hey, baby. Hey, Kyle. Hey. Gaga. What's the tea? Give us the tea. We miss Girl, you. first of all, we need to try to put the way. Uh, feeding Luane all these motherfucking years because she need to be on the docket when they get in that courtroom, baby, because we need to figure out what you fed this man and why he looked like this. How long has she been working for him, baby? Whenever she been feeding yeah. him, this motherfucking whole entire system. Bitch, his head been falling out. His teeth don't even look the same. Are those real in his... Girl, I don't... Child. Child, did I just sit there and said, I said, look at my baby. I said, look at him. What's going on? Yeah, you know, that was your man, baby. Look how he looking. He don't even look the same, John. Oh, my God. That was all favorites rapper. E.T. phone home. That's, that made no sense. The industry just done sucked him dry. Girl didn't even play with him. It could have been sour place. He probably was in there with Puffy and motherfucking Ja Rule. That's why he looking like that. Uh, so what what got but, him looking like that? The pussy, the dope, the holes? Uh, Girl, it's the cook. A bitch, she feeding him something. She putting whack poison in her food, bitch. Nah, he was looking cook. like that before the cook. It's the lean, the sourpuss. Mm. That's why it's why these young kids need to look at these older rappers and see how they gonna look if they don't stop. Baby, with well, all that purple shit. Nobody wants to the youth the truth. Ooh. Damn, uh, we need somebody to speak uh, up. Is okay. he still with that saltine cracker? You know what? I don't know. You know what? We got to read. I wonder if they'll let us read that live over here. You know, the, uh, uh, some other girls had came forward and was saying that he was in their DMs like some other plain Jane white girl. And they said that he was in their DMs. So maybe that's what he do. Slime out. Freak them out. 
Yeah. Make them hoes cook. Make them hoes cook. Hey, don't tell what be going on. But and then why would you make your chef like come on, bro? Get your ass in the I don't know why. When they get big like that, they act like they forget to cook. If you don't know how to cook, go up there, get you some udon noodles, some cup noodles, get you some spam out that goddamn um cabin to get you some vainas and eat fish. Child, not no vainas and motherfucking crackers. You know, Fantasia just said she was broke as hell and that she cooked herself and drop herself and go to Walmart and family dollar just like the queen figly with it. Fantasia. And Fantasia was like, all these motherfuckers, y'all think these celebrities got all this money and they broke as hell. Like Lil Romeo. Oh, yeah, I see now. But Lil Romeo, I don't know. I was listening earlier. You know that. And Ty, what make me mad is because, like, okay, Lil Romeo is grown as fuck. Like, I'll get me wrong, bitch. Don't get me wrong. He do get, he should get his justice due. Bitch, take, take it out of the court and get you. But bitch, you was like 30 something years old. You ain't realize he was taking it like at 20, 25, bitch. By the time I turned 25, bitch, I knew what money was. Mm -hmm. That's right. Bro, it took you a whole five years to realize after the age of 25 that your daddy been robbing you motherfucking blind. Bitch, uh-uh. We want to put him on the docket too. We got to put him for, for being a little delayed. Uh -uh. Yes, bitch. We got to put him on the docket too. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, that shit together. If he ever wants to get that percent. money or all that money, it's gone. <laughs> now you want to <laughs> Who's the money the already gone? Oh, he got to hope people um catch the munchies and eat smoke weed and get the motherfucking chips and stuff around here. Uh, I guess. So how they feel? Uh, how y'all feeling about the OnlyFans model that um is on trial for killing the the, the African guy? She saying she didn't mean to do it. Is she guilty or? Mm -hmm. is she she said that he girl it depends on how she killed them. Was she killed? She killed them trying to do crimes in, or she killed them like how she killed them? She gonna walk. But she's trying to run the game that he she was being trafficked did, right. and that um he was like her pimp and was beating her and making her have sex with people, and he was fighting her and she was defending herself. But that's why I'm saying, do we believe that there was Ooh, video footage know. of her? Um, attacking we him, or maybe they was maybe fighting and attacking each other, like Krishan and Blue. How did you know? Was it self defense because she's trying to claim that um, she was defending herself? It could, it could possibly be what you just said the way Christian Rock, um, Krishan and faces because I ain't never really seen a video of Blue Face like physically assault Krishan, but we've seen videos of Krishan assault him and. Or whatever so it may be that you know we never get to see what he does to her but we see what she does to him because i think they played a video of in an elevator when she was slapping the african dude or something like that mm -hmm. it possibly could be like that though you know i'm just confused is it the fact that she do uh, content on only fans is the reason why we trust her because when we started trusting hoes oh don't trust nobody. Girl, don't trust we know this whole hole. Don't trust them whole. Who came? I don't, I don't but was girl, she tired of him, monkey stomping her, or putting her, putting his foot in her ass, or was she the one putting her hands on him? I don't know. I can't trust her. This is probably was trying to get the bag. You never know what the bag had on it. Wrong. You can't take all motherfucking money. And her ass fucking, he probably croaked over right in the middle of the fucking. You never know. No, no, no. no. She like stabbed him. She stabbed him. It was it, she stabbed him. Yeah, she stabbed his ass. Ooh. She stabbed him. They said it was looking like a horror story in the hotel room. She stabbed him with a knife. That whole needs 15,000 motherfucking years in the first. Not 15,000. In the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and say that whole. I don't give a damn, bitch. I had a hair. I don't give a girl. She couldn't get out of She couldn't get out the apartment. They said it was a domestic violence call that the police had been there one time before. Um, and they got video footage of her attacking him on the elevator. Yeah. But she said that they had gotten into a physical altercation and she, he was fucking her up and she had to stab him to defend her. That we ain't buying it up. The, the people ain't buying it. Um, I like her. I mean, you took her, and I was a horror scene, baby. That means you, you, that was pretty much tainted. If you, no, ain't, you, bitch, you was ready for some shit like bitch, this, you was girl. Ready. Bitch, you was plotting, girl. Mm -hmm. ah. So we ain't buying it. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. 
No. But what if she, what if she really was the abuser though? Who's be sneaking? They be ready to get a nigga. What's in the nigga pockets? They be like on some bitch like girl. Mm -mm, that's another Carisha or JT bitch. We can't trust them hoes. Like any hoes be out here sucking and sucking all over Instagram there. That only fan shit, girl, giving away more than the gift that needs to be given, bitch. Uh -uh. I don't trust them hoes. No, I don't like them kind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The family said they believe they, that she they murdered that she murdered their son. But Queen, what if what if what if she was right, right, yeah. What if she was the abuser out of the thing? You know, her saying he abused her. Always like he did this, but some women are abusive too. Like you know what I'm saying. My grandma. A lot of goddamn uh boyfriend. Uh uh. Should be golf clubs and fishing poles and shit. <laughs> well, you know my, my thing is keep your hands to yourself because if you hit somebody, you can you hit back. Now everybody don't raise their voice right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah. I ain't put my hand on them. Africans hand. mean though. They mean too. And yourself, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm. I don't look like this little nigga beating me in my face. Mm. Really? So, well, anyway, they got her ass. Well, well, well she's looking at 25 years. Yeah. 25 years. Yes. No time. No time. No time. That's good. I'm about to take that deal. <laughs> oh, you, about to, you about to run with it, bitch. Run with it, bitch. And do you some old content, ho? Because uh -huh, 25 is mm. She get out of file like a little officer's pussy. And shit. She ain't do it. I hope I not go to trial. She better not go to trial. Mm -mm. I hope I not go to trial. I don't like it. Bitch, you better take that deal. I'll be to it. Please, sir. Give it to me. Whatever it is, 25. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it must Give just it be to me, sir. That hoe was cool. years for yes. murder, though? Yeah, that's why I said it must be second degree. Oh, it, what, 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 that's why I say I'm trying to see how is it just. She must ain't get first degree murder for twenty five years. That's what I'm saying. But you know, it also depends on what state. Uh, what state too? They in Miami. Oh, they, they will kill you here. Yeah. <laughs> they in Miami. They will kill you in Florida, baby. They don't play. We in a Republican girl. These people, this girl, they don't like that. Joe but she, the way she was in court room carrying on with all that goddamn fake ass crying girl, you ain't crying like that on the dick in the only fan videos. Mm. What, what, what you in court crying like that for? Now you want to come home, you know? And she got a million dollars on a book. She had a million dollars on what? That's what they say. She got a million dollars on her books. Oh wow. That's what they say, yeah, because you know she was making good money off OnlyFans. Them hoes make good money over there. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they make enough money to scratch that hole and they make enough money to get that bitch tied back up. So I mean <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit much. Well, she gonna need that money for a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. she gonna well, need the 25 years she's gonna be doing. Uh, no, what y'all talking about? Oh, 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 we talking about oh, well, now we've been ready to talk about the baby. They say he won his lawsuit down there for the Miami brawl where he beat the boy in the club and he robbed him went in his pocket and took his phone because he didn't pay him for a show. But he beat the case today. Yeah, a damn good lawyer. I'll tell you that. Oh, he beat it. He beat in his cases. He ain't got found guilty for one. I'm gonna see if he beat this case where he beat that old man at the uh at the Airbnb. He another one like Trey Songs keep getting them get out of jail free call. Well, he's fucking a lawyer there. Mm -hmm. so we trying to figure out who his team is because we need to keep him on deck. Who on speed? Dial. I think it's a T fine girl. You know, he's a little fine, light, chocolate, like girl. I think he probably. Who you think fine? Girl. Who you think fine? You like short men? The baby, right? Yeah, you talking about good baby, baby and I love that little bitch. Little, 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 little cute. You like a little short, little stout, little motherfucking close to the ground. Kyrie <laughs> 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 is crazy. Did he throw that dick like that attitude? It's good. Oh, yeah, you got an attitude now. You got an attitude now. You know you're on the nigga that's aggressive. Mm -hmm. That nigga is very, very, very much. You see what he did today, like. 
He got a little bitty thing like Tori Alopecia, though. He nuddled. Not Alopecia. <laughs> you don't need to talk. Alopecia. Tori Alopecia. Well, he won this case. The baby stay winning now. He ain't winning with his baby mamas, but he winning in them courtrooms. I don't know what it's is. We're going to find out. Gaddy, thank you for calling, baby. Them hoes hiring T.I. Queen, I'm telling you. They say T.I. is the new Johnny mm -hmm. Conqueror around this motherfucker. So Gunna and T.I. going to tag teams and get the streets clean? Oh, yeah. How we feel about Gunna pleading the fifth? It's okay for him to get on the stand and, and say he don't remember He don't remember saying what he said when he got out? Yeah, he should have pleaded. Oh, they about his snitching. They say he said he going to plead the fifth. He already done snitch, though. You already done snitch. Now you perjuring. Mm. Cause you already on oh, you know. But what the lawyer had to say, I've been trying to find it. I've seen what that, that the lawyer they said that the lawyer said that um he did not snitch and that he's going to be pleading the fifth. Um, but I I couldn't find the video. They don't know what snitching is. I guess that's the, I guess that's the court system. Yeah, they were trying to clean that shit up so they ain't got to worry about his image uh, in these motherfucking streets. Bitch, you told you scary bitch. You told. Ooh. Yeah, he told. Oh, well, the he told before they his ass in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. So, is he gonna get his career back, or is it all over? No, it's done. He's. I don't know if I see how the boys treat him next, girl. Cause girl, who wants to be following behind the snitch? Oh, told on the whole set. That's shit crazy. Oh, yeah. That's why he was with that white girl when he walked out the courtroom. That's who he going over there with. Now, he don't want to be with the white people no more. I mean, the black people no more. He going over there with the white people. from Alaska. Child, club <laughs> shit. She ain't waiting for no nigga in the jail. There ain't no such shit. Alaska going to be melting. It's going to be 90 in Alaska. It's 30 in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I say, oh, bitch, get under the bed. Get under the bed. The <laughs> going on. I'm talking about it's blizzard in Honolulu and in the Big Island. I say, oh, hell. Not a blizzard. <laughs> Okay, y'all keep on playing. It's cold. <laughs> I, I know y'all. I know you dying today. No snow today. Uh, get under the bed. Some crazy shit going on. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, wow, this is scary. Get under the bed. You should live in five years. Five Elon years. Musk said he gonna listen to the people and step down. Y'all believe? Got my popcorn ready. <laughs> <laughs> Over there on the other side. He did the he did the poll and said he was gonna do what the people said. He said he was gonna step down. Y'all, I mean, he caused mayhem on that shit. He lying. Meek Mill said he gone. He gone to YouTube. YouTube. Well, I wonder why they making him step down. You know he exposing all them um, Democrats and the FBI and all them goddamn people. So mm -hmm. he exposing their ass because they was trying to suppress the First Amendment right. So bitch, it's like girl. If he is stepping out, it's just the day. No cop is making him do it. Girl, I don't believe he wants to. Because you know Fox News loves him. Mm. <coughs> Fox News loves him. Yeah, they done unblocked Trump. Twitter. I'm shocked he didn't get back on there. He's going to step down. He can lock Trump in. So we going to see. Him this government ain't going to show. Him and Trump can. That's Trump's up. Oh, well, they say the board just voted for Trump ass to be prosecuted too. So, oh. well, what he did? What did they say? What did they say? They they said they they voted. Yeah, the they refer criminal charges. Uh -huh. Oh, because he had incited that riot at the uh, Capitol. You know, only white people can do shit like that. Oh, I guess okay, they said they said uh Queen. They said Young Thug's brother Quantavius Greer. AK on um, Funk uh took a plea deal ahead of the YSL trial. I don't know if this is his blood brother or not, but they said the brother of Atlanta Rayanta entered a negotiated guilty plea on Tuesday, making him the fifth defendant to plead out before the sprawling goes to trial next month. Court records show Quantavius Greer, who raps under the stage name on um, Funk, fled it guilty to one count of violating the state Rico act and one count of theft by receiving stolen property. It said he was sentenced to 12 years with two years commuted to time served and the balance on probation records show conditions of the negotiated Three years probation? Huh? That said the, re the remainder on probation? Yep. So he got 10, 10 years, years probation? Years on probation. On probation. They taking bad deals. <laughs> conditions, of conditions of the negotiated guilty plea include 750 hours of community service, having or possessing no guns, 
and a curfew from a curfew from 10 to 6 a.m. unless he is working in school or an emergency arises. Now they trying to get out of jail because ain't no fucking way. The plea mm-hmm. here was apparently held upstairs as co-defendants, their attorneys, and members of the news media waited in a larger first floor courtroom for Judge Earl Glanville to return to the bench. Greer's defense attorney in Fulton County District prosecutor declined to comment on the plea agreement. As part Thank of the you, guilty plea, mm-hmm. as part of the guilty plea, Greer is not allowed to talk to his brother, Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams, or any of the other co-defendants in the indictment. If called to testify, Greer received his right to assert his Fifth Amendment right according to court documents. Atlanta rappers Slime Life Shawty, Donna, and Lil Duke, and co-defendants Walter Murphy all entered negotiated guilty pleas last week and have been released from jail. The five negotiated guilty pleas bring the remaining number of defendants to 23, including Young Thug. There were 20, 20 yeah. mm-hmm, there were 28 defendants named in the original document. Uh, excuse me, the original indictment. Prosecutors have argued that YSL is a gang, and Young Thug is one of its leaders and founders. The defense attorney says it's just a record label. Hearings were held Monday and Tuesday in Fulton County to qualify expert witnesses for the state. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Medical examiner, Dr. Karen Sullivan, who will qualify to offer expert, te- expert testimony during the trial on Monday. Jury selection is set to start January the 4th. Mm. Girl, you said Polk County? 23 more to go. Listen, they is... Is it like Fulton County or Polk County? Yes. That no, judge, that Sheriff Gray, going high. He said no, that. No, no, he, no, he ain't saying no motherfucking Polk County. I ain't taking over. No, oh, exactly. girl, I'm like, I got a stand for him. Fulton County. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they said that case was a bunch of he say, she say, my mama say, they say, he say, he did it. The feds coming strong this year. Maybe the feds getting everybody. They coming to get Bishop Jake's next. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What do you need? Uh, Wearing them tight ass pants with them cut ripped jeans. <laughs> so he I, I just don't queen how they why they taking these crazy ass plea deals I I don't know know that give me more time and uh uh-uh, uh get just give me my god mm. I did it give me me yeah, ten years is a long time to be on papers. And you gotta get the house from ten to six mm. every day. Ten to six, ten a.m. to mm. six p.m. every day for ten years. Okay. Oh, wait, oh, you oh, said bitch. he was on house arrest? No, listen. The conditions of his plea deal is okay. Two of his, two of his, he has to give him a sentence to twelve years. Two of them was commuted, time served, and he has to do ten on probation. His conditions is. 750 hours of community service, having or possessing no guns, and he has a curfew from 10 p.m., excuse me, from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. unless he is working in school or in an emergency <laughs> ride. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no damn way. So that means he can be out from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., bitch. That's right. You get your ass in the 10 house. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. From 10 mm-hmm. p.m. to 6 a.m. Yeah, he got to be in the house. That no, means you got all day to be outside at no. 10 o'clock. Curfew. Get your ass in the house. No, 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 no. It's, it's from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. 10 p.m. at night to 6 a.m. in the morning. He need to be in the house. From 6 a.m. in the morning to 10 p.m. at night, you can go outside. That's fine, bitch, because you is a gang member and you don't need to be out after 10 p.m., motherfucker. Now, do you want to do the 10 years in prison, bitch? Cause your ass gonna be lights gonna be still on at 10 p.m. You ain't gonna be sleeping that motherfucker cell bitch because they ain't gonna never cut the lights out. You better be able to do your time how you told you, bitch. Cause they they finna send him up the road because he gonna violate trying to get some pussy. Um, he gonna violate trying to get some weed. Like morning, he gonna man. violate, he gonna violate, he gonna violate. He is just too taking his shits. We that's 10 to, years. You know, ain't no way. Ain't no way. 10 years. Come, get it through this state of fed. Uh, this is state. This is state. The mm-hmm. fans, so the fans can't around. come back around and pick these, pick their ass yes, up. Yes, they can't. Yay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The fans, anyway. The fans, everything, state. 
Uh huh. Well, at least you ain't got to do eighty five cent with the state for cent with the state. He might as well went on and did his time. That's a long yeah. time to have to be in the house at ten o'clock. If he would have been young, he would have been out. Yes. Be too bad to go and get you a wife so that pussy can be in house. Let me tell you how you need to do that. <laughs> Not in house. Go and get you a wife so you can get you some in house pussy. Bitch gonna cook for you and all they got to do now. Go on on here up and do that community service hours. Get on out there and serve chickens and, and do the stuff for the homeless. It's like you early terminated. Put you uh -huh. on extra probation. Get to show you can show you doing better in the community, and you might get an early termination after uh -huh. five years. Try to do if you could get just make it through the five. Because other than that, I don't think he's gonna make it through the year. Ooh. Good a week. Yeah, that's Good how that week. little nigga name resume was fucking the uh, launch. Yeah. Lady, that's how these little niggas gonna do. They know they can't do no motherfucking 10 years, baby. Right? Oh, you Find you a good church home. Look, John, because you're gonna be through 10 years and he got to be in the house at 10 o'clock. They about to you, get you I, I still feel like if you really want to change your life and do the right thing, it's a chance to be in your chance, bitch. So it's really up to them. Them niggas ain't gonna do it. They ain't gonna do it. That's a lot of time, man. On probation, huh? That's a lot, especially after being in the house at 10 o'clock for 10 years. <laughs> mm. uh, I don't know. I'd rather do 10 on the street than 10 on the inside. So you just well, gotta be, you just the get woke this motherfucker. Get your mind right. Shit, hell. You want to be free? Oh shit! Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. I was just calling to tell you I love you and uh, have a happy uh, Christmas and you know Merry New Year and yes. bless to see you and your family again. Thank you. I'm gonna keep on watching. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Happy holidays to you too. All right. Bye, 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 baby. Oh, love y'all, love y'all more. Happy holidays, happy holidays. Tis yeah. the season to be naughty. Yaga, 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 yaga. Hello. Hey. Hello. You gotta cut this phone down, TV down, music down. Hey Kaya, hey. um, I just wanna say, play with it, bitch. You punk ass hoes don't play with me, and I know y'all hoes don't want to see. We coming through y'all hood, checking up with the town, make do y'all bitches from the dirty down. Hey, hey. I, I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you baby. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> you know y'all gonna fucking shy. That's a lot of time. So you think they gonna get a good deal like that, or he going to prison? Oh. Him, he oh, he going down. Everybody pleading around him, Queen. He ain't got no chance. He ain't, he ain't got, got no chance. chance. He's the fall guy. He's the fall guy because he's the founder. <laughs> hey, baby. Why don't he get a white man up? Oh. Oh. Uh, hey. Okay. Hey, Kay, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm hanging in there. You know what? I was calling to say you asked you about that, that New Year show that we had last year. It never came on. It never came on. Oh, well, we was playing the music. Which one are you talking about? I thought we put that one up. Can you hear me? Huh? I said I thought we put it up on YouTube. No, I never seen it because I was like, wait a minute. I remember that time we went we at the we was on the um online and it was a nice uh, it was y'all was at a club. Yeah. No, I never seen it because I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I you I think it was you and I can't remember if it was you and two other people. Oh no, three other people. Y'all was dancing in the in the studio like. We gotta do that again. We're gonna do that again for you for the new year. And I'm gonna okay, I appreciate it. Yeah. Love you, guys. Love you, baby. Bye bye. Hey, bye bye. Okay, because Queen Miko gonna be down too. He coming down for Christmas and New Year. Um I could have sworn that was up. I think it's just on the website. I don't it might not be up. I thought we put it up on you because that was in that was 2001, I think. We didn't do it last year, I don't think. Hey baby. Kaya, what? Hey, I just want to say I love you. That's it. Oh, I love you more, baby. Hey, <laughs> bye bye. All right, bye. Oh, I love y'all. Oh, I'm live. Kaya, you live. Gag me, gag me. Let's go back to that person um, that y'all was talking about earlier. The one who, the girl who stabbed the man on OnlyFans. Uh huh. 
she did that on purpose. She you think that was uh, my roommate got stabbed 15 times. Oh, and he's still alive to this day. Not a boyfriend, but Lord, it's a long story, child. But okay. it was a Jack boy that he invited over and they got into it, and the boy stabbed uh, while I was at the club. They tried to say oh, that I was the one that did it. But no, you no, know, I got all my little videos on Snapchat of me at the club, all the time stamps. So they was like, okay, you clear. But I came home, it was a blood bath. When I what? tell you, the boy was stabbed 15 times, all in my room, all the way across the house to his room, the living room, with my knives. What? With my knives, because I went to school to be a chef. Yeah. So they had my chef knives in there. Real good my whole knife. thing is, when I tell you, sharp. Every day, sure. Yeah. But she did it on purpose because my whole thing is you can't, you, you ain't just walking up on nobody with no knife. Right. She snuck up on him like that boy did my roommate because my roommate got stabbed in his sleep. He what? was sleeping. What mm -hmm. the fuck? He was sleeping and the boy stabbed him uh, two times in the back of the head and then damn. all over his body. He's still alive. God was with him because when I tell I was, you, he's down. still alive. Oh, he we must have fought, no He must have fought. Yeah, and that's that's the thing right there. Because when he was telling me the story, he was like, "Oh yeah, well, um, I didn't stab him back." I said, "So why are both of my big chef knives gone? Why is there a blood trail?" Because I went all oh, inspecting the gadget on the ass. I walked down the stairs, went outside, walked around the corner, followed the blood trail down the parking lot to a fence where it looked like he the, the boy who got away because they never found him. He jumped the fence and went out the bike. My whole thing is this. Y'all was both in there stabbing people with my motherfucking knives and I still ain't got them back to this day and I'm still mad. Knives. You trying to cut up some chicken and steak and shit. Mm -hmm. So what I think she did was she stabbed that boy on purpose because that's the only way you're going to sneak up on somebody with a knife is on purpose. That went on defense. So Maybe she did that. get her ass whooped once or twice. She got that ass whooped, but she said she was tired of getting that ass when she had some for his ass and she planned to do it. Mm -mm. I think well, they were doing a, uh, the a blue face in Krishan. Oh, so this was a piece of sneaky link that did this. Why he went to sleep with a sneaky link over? You supposed to kick that nigga well, out? Yeah, you mind you, I kicked that boy out of the house two times. The same Ooh. boy, I Ooh. kicked him out twice because my oh. roommate at the time went to work. And I'm walking around the house thinking, oh, I'm in the house by myself. So I'm walking around uh -huh. naked, prancing around. Prancing. I hear something prancing. She's <laughs> bouncing everything. And I go, I hear a noise in the back. And I'm like, wait a minute. I open up the door. The boy is in the room, in my friend's room, just standing there with a hood over his head in the dark. <laughs> just crazy. standing there. Not I cool, said, though. come on up out of here. Oh, come no. Come on up out of here. Yeah, come on up out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, I'm going to get ready to go to work. He at work. You got to go. You got to go. He ain't here. Mm -hmm. The friend got mad at me. You, know, you have a roommate. I don't think you got to watch bringing them pieces of crazy trade up in there. They're going to steal everything and kill you. I said, why are you bringing a homeless piece of trade dick in here with his name? I'm not homeless. He was that boy. I swear to God, that boy was homeless. I swear to God. Uh, uh, you got that boy was homeless. It was, if you've ever seen a scary movie with all that blood and shit, that's what my house looked like. It looked oh like God, a like blood. And you know, the police, they don't clean up nothing. I was they just don't clean up nothing. Up. Tell me what uh, okay. Not the fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I moved out that very, like, I came home drunk. I came home drunk at four o'clock in the morning. The police was all there. I was like, Lord, please don't let this be my house. It was. It was. Then, I went in the house, I drunk, drunk in the cooler brown, went to sleep, cool woke brown. up, reality kicked in, bitch, this house is full of blood, Ooh. snatched all my Christmas decorations down off the walls, everything, and left that day. Uh-uh. And I you drove back on the floor. Yeah, you can't be that. That can't be your roommate mate no more. He got too much going on. Mm -hmm. This was in Las Vegas when I lived in Las Vegas. I got my shit, packed it all up, and drove my ass clear across the country back to Miami. Back to Florida. Oh, I was just getting ready to say, do you like a Vegas better than Florida? Which one you like better? Hell no. Nah. You like my home better. I got to be back at the house. You can't even drink that water out there. Mm. 
Well, you got to boil water first in Vegas? It don't even boil it. Just go ahead and buy you some water. Go on and buy you some bottled water. Oh, that's a shot. Mm -hmm. It's a, you on can't, no. Nah. So we the people say she did it. She did it on purpose. She did it on motherfucking purpose. That's why I asked on the dock. Is you live? Um, I'm live with you, Kyle. What's up, girl? Yes, gag us. Child, let's talk about R. Kelly and his baby. Shout that is not R. Kelly, baby. That baby did not look like R. Kelly. That baby is not like, cute. Like, oh. like, oh. How you get a baby in jail? Shaw, he was fucking behind the visits. Baby, they were passing his through through them holes or something. Ooh, Ooh. That is not, well, we got to see. The baby don't look like R. Kelly to me. She said that's R. Kelly's son. What she named him? Did she name him a baby too? <laughs> we got pictures of the baby. Let me get some pictures of the baby. Baby, and what? What about Trey Songz turning himself in for that rape? I'm sick of that nigga getting out of jail and it's about the 20th rape charge he done got. Okay. Child. What is going on, Trey? You can't get no pussy? Oh, Trey don't really want no pussy. He always did. Uh, Augusta, mm -hmm. Alcina, you got to give us the tea on Trey Songz. We want to know what's going on. And who is this for he be? Sure. You know August now. I, 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 is this R. Kelly baby or no? Ain't it ain't his baby. Now that's some baby she done conjured up and trying to get 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 some money, keep keep sucking Come some money out of R. Kelly when he you. got no money. What? So did she get pregnant from another nigga and tried to put it on R. Kelly, or did she get did she fuck in the visitation room behind the snack machine and got pregnant? Mm. Cause you know you can. Well, Why is probably the daddy back? Oh. oh. Yeah. Now you know what I ain't uh. gonna ask that motherfucking daddy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what, what, what about this life concert when he was throwing out a damn yelling? We put his What's wrong with his voice? I don't know. He done lost his. He, whatever wrong with him, he got he got balls and shit on his throat on his vocal cords too. Oh, not in the throat. Uh, he, got balls. he ain't been the same since he gave Carly Red that fake ass ring. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what is going on? They all losing their vocal. Yeah, uh, Mariah. Mariah, hers gone. That's what I say. To it, I say it ain't. She ain't even tapping the end. Look at me. I'm adjusting my. Yeah, Mariah looks a fool every time she get up there and try to have them stage performances. So did you see her and her daughter perform? Did the baby girl? Uh, could she sing like a mama? No. Shit your motherfucking mouth. You seen it? What's you? <laughs> I can't see y'all. What? Mariah had that no. baby coming there for her first performance in lip sync. Opera teacher. Mariah mama teach real vocal mm. So what the heck? She ain't she ain't training the little girl. Yeah. Yeah. That Mariah, baby can't sing just like Miss Piggy's doing. Yeah. She too stressed out over Nick and all these damn kids to keep at. So I'm going to oh, child. Did you see the black baby the, 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 what's the black baby girl? The, uh, the last baby with well, the girl who just had the baby one of the baby mamas went to roasting him about the baby say she ain't gonna be putting up fake pictures for the Instagram. And yeah. she had another nigga holding Nick's child. Oh, yeah, that looks so weird. Y'all ain't see it. Uh, they sent it into the docket. Out, uh, Alisa, a uh, left with the, the the one the black the, the black photographer girl. She said mm -hmm. she's trying to keep everything together for her daughter. She said but she ain't gonna be faking, you know, mm -hmm. and and taking pictures and, and and editing Nick in them for the grand. So do you think do you think Nick is sick? Like Nick with the sick dick. A different type of sick. I don't know what kind of stick he got, but something like he right. got loose. He got loose because he drawing up like a prune. He, sure he drawing up. He starting to look like little kid's ass. Oh, the way he drawing up. <laughs> 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 and I say he need to get some red. Wait, <laughs> <y> bitches, <laughs> bitches <laughs> kill y'all. Get some red. Yeah, my <laughs> Bobby Lights booty looking like Bobby Lights booty. Why y'all? Bitch, I just saw Bobby Lights in the club last weekend down here in Florida. He was in the yeah, club. Not no. Club. Club. <laughs> Not he, no was at, I'm <laughs> he was he was at escape <laughs> looking like a hot drunk in the super brown. Let me get out of this house, you guy. I love you I so love much, you Queen. Today. Keep doing your thing. Yeah. Fuck them other hoes. Fuck them other niggas. Thank you, baby. And Merry Christmas to Merry you, baby. Christmas. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. Wait a there minute. There go the baby right there, Queen. There go the baby. There go the baby. Wait a minute now. Wait. They wait. do look kind of like her. Wait a minute now. Now wait a minute. 
Is that is that Kel's baby? It do kind of look like him a little bit. Uh, he ain't gonna yeah. never get in the eyebrows. And that is, wait a minute, I'm looking. I'm trying to see now. Is that is that is the lip, the nose area? Nose is giving it. It's, it's, it's kind of giving it. Is R. Kelly the father in the case of Joycelyn Savage, baby? Oh, it's a girl. Child, that's a girl. What? I thought it was a boy. Y'all know I'm tired of doing That's a girl. I kept saying it's a joint. You look a little girl around the face to be a girl. It might be a hermaphrodite. No, Ooh. G. No, G. <laughs> you know what? She look like her daddy. That might be R. Kelly, baby. Now, it's a girl. Now, I thought it was a boy. They say what Joycelyn did was she went down there and got him the nut in a condom and then took it home, wrapped up like a balloon, and then stuck it up in her pussy. Turkey basted it and turkey basted it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Long as that nut don't touch the air, it's still good. Uh, that's how it works. Yeah, it's it's just, that's actually scientifically a thing. If the nut does not touch the air or stay out for a long time, it's still good. You that's why the girls be turkey basting that shit up in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said I know I know Puffy went fucking Carisha please without no problem because she was supposed to be in the garbage can collecting that nut. I said the bitch you should have been selling it on eBay. Blackmailing a nigga like this, blackmailing these old the Tory Lanez cost her whole. You supposed to secure the bag. You done let another yeah. bitch keep. Uh, Act uh, like you had. So Carisha please should have did what this whole here did. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Did uh, Miss Shaita Adriel, what's her name? Did she say something? Any means necessary. R. Kelly ain't got no money. Some Millie Vanilli putting his music out. He ain't got control. They done took his masters. They got another nigga singing his songs, putting it out like it's him. I don't know what she thinks she finna get some money from. That nigga was R. Kelly gonna have to I thought R. Kelly was coming home, so he's gonna have to raise the baby. And uh, and, and, I mean, uh, she's gonna have to be taking that baby down there to visit. She better not take that baby down there to that jail house. That, that baby don't need to be down there. Y'all heard anything about that other girl? That girl What's up in the prison visitation room? Joel is. R. Kelly gonna have to get her job at the canteen so he can send that baby some honey buns and some Okay, uh, she good. better call Phaedra. Nah, ladies. Oh. Uh, now she used the fleet bottle to insert the nut. I am done, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all is crazy. Yeah, in case she get information, we the people say you use the fleet bottle to insert the nut. Uh, girl, uh, I know that little girl ain't go through all that. They had no baby from our kid. What's going oh, on with that other girl? The other one that used to be with Jocelyn. Y'all heard about her? You know the boy that eater. She had a baby. Yeah, yeah, she had a baby. I don't know what the other one. What, what the other one that beat Jocelyn? The up. one that was on Gail King talk about he's my man. Don't talk about how we have sex. Where she at? Child, we looking for her. We looking for her. I see her posing on Instagram, taking some little thirst trap pictures one time, but then she disappeared. Um, Based on music, Mary, I think it's her name. I'm done. Asriel. is her name. I about to say she want to be a bull dagger too, didn't she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was munching on Joycelyn. Let me see what she said about them bull dagger hoes. So I want to know about them. The niggas weren't biting, so now she's trying to get with the studs. Child, that's what she said. Uh, oh, just be flipping and flopping and flopping. Oh no, what's in the air with these studs today? But some is in the air, and I have to rebuke Satan. I rebuke Satan. <coughs> Satan, I rebuke you. Let me tell y'all, I'm not been entertained today. Cause all y'all studs got whole problems today. My stud from Chicago done call me to my haunted girl going through. They going through their trials and tribulation. The girl must not win and got a nigga because she told me go on the girl page. My other folk dealing with her stud. Now, you know I had to think to myself. You know them studs take care of their bitches. But I'm not waking up with no bitch to the stud with no low fade and no motherfucking dreads. And this bitch thinks she finna get out here and do the same shit I just left this nigga from doing. You see what I'm not doing? I just better stick with my nigga. You get it. You know, but you know, them studs had me want to go get me a stud though. Because you know them studs do real right by their bitches. They really keep their bitches flying all day. You know, but I knew it was a jazz bear spirit on me earlier. I said, Satan, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. I would not. Lord, and when they out there doing that freak nasty shit to try to get record deals, bitch. You know you went and let that whole stuff, that pussy from the bike. Oh, right. Did she eat Nikki pussy to get on the uh, on the track? On the look, the, the... Why is she trying to act like she just started? Right. 
And girl, we know you suck, Nikki Pussy, to get on that goddamn queen, that no queen track. Uh uh. She said, oh. Nikki, do you love me? Like that nigga. That nigga said, no. <laughs> oh, I cannot. Nikki, you don't love me. <laughs> she did it, y'all. What's going on? I am so done with y'all. I cannot take it anymore. Uh, so I, I said she's going to get a bulldog for a little while. So I, well, she ain't never had a man. So, girl, what is you talking about? We ain't never seen. Girl had a man. She got five children. Oh, we ain't never seen her with a man. Publicly. Yeah, she had a man. As soon as she, as soon as she dropped them, the state took them. Oh no! Oh, oh. oh in the court, in the court. Where's the gavel? <laughs> You know, I only get a gavel to my paid subscribers. We gags on Monday night at 8 o'clock. Yeah. I, me, honestly. Hey, I, if I, I gag I, over here, we're going to be shut down. So I still have to get a people. Look, we're going to be shut down. Y'all know we can't go hard over here. Y'all already know we're going to be shut down. The hoes always report. They mad because they can't report that. So, Queen, we have, have so you so have you ever seen her baby daddy in per, and like on pictures on Instagram? We I ain't never seen him. No. Well, no, it's five of them. It ain't one. Right, but have we ever seen the men? We don't know what man. Have we ever seen the pictures of the man that she been with? The one she was sucking a dick with on Twitter. Oh, well, we, we barely could see his face because he went in the dog. You know her. I ain't her never seen it. on that one. We seen that, but we ain't seen the kid. Like, girl, why you ain't got your kids? What kind of mother stay online all day and don't have your children? Go get you your she ain't got them all upstairs. That girl suffered from mental health. She can't get them children. Mm -hmm. We ain't never children. seen her with them children. Just like we ain't never seen plies with a woman. They oh. give you a case plan. Oh. Queen. They give you a case plan. When you go get a when you when the state take your children, they give you a caseworker, and the caseworker give you a case plan to complete all of this so they didn't go back to the judge and say, listen, Ms. Albana went through a, a mental health evaluation. She good. We got a house. Every one of her children gonna be able to have a bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, you ain't no. Even every time, every time, uh, uh, child, every uh, uh, you know she got a bullet still stuck in her head. She ain't got it all together. <laughs> <laughs> girl can't get mature. You see how she too busy chasing after Drake. You gonna place them children in her care? Huh? We Man, reassign uh, her children back home with her? No, but. I'm not saying the children will be safe with her, but at least instead of you being online, getting this showing off your bad new ass body and doing oh, all this shit, that you're trying to get your kids, put some paperwork up that you don't went through counseling, put some paperwork up that you don't bought your house, that you got five, six bedroom, so your child, your children have a, a you know a, a, a room to themselves or a, a bunk beds in one room for two. No, she like, got felony. She can't get no apartment. Her credit is a two twenty. He can't get. <laughs> We got to try to change the laws. Look at Judge Kaya Dumps. We got to try to change the laws so felons can get apartments again because we about time. We, we, we can't get no job. We can't get no apartment. Our credit bad as hell. We can't get shit going on. Our bar case, where's she going to live with them children? Her credit is 200. She got them felonies for fighting the acting fool. She not using okay. so She ain't got no money to buy no house. She can't. So what's she going to do? She can't buy no house. She Let's can't keep in mind. She ain't trying to get them kids just like Kay Michelle. You never see her oh, with her kids and plows. Uh -huh. You'll never see her with no bitch. Nobody. Oh, so that's a wrap the there. Just that that ass. Ass. We the people got to say, we got to get people record cleaned up now because people get out of jail, they can't find nowhere to stay. Well, they said so can't find no 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 lead them back to them criminal activities. Uh, so what the people's gonna do when they get these records and then where she gonna live? She ain't got no, she can't she can't provide for her children because she fucked up. I thought she, she made a million. Off that house. I thought she made a million off that track. She can't go buy a house. Yeah. She got enough million. money to buy a double wide trailer. She a million pounds. She spent all the double wide trailer that money on that double wide trailer. She had to get removed from that ass. Shit, pack a, uh, what's that shit called? <laughs> pack a rack. All that money, money to who she gave it to, Dr. Kerr. Doctor oh, somebody. She ain't somebody. get Doctor Curse because Doctor Curse get the Dr. Curse ain't do that. Doctor Curse ain't do that. He don't These do dropping. Let me tell you something. These hoes is dropping down payments for homes in their mouth on their teeth and in their ass. They ain't worried about their children. And I ain't worried about it at all. Hundred thousand to put a down payment on the house. She ain't want no motherfucking house. Well, right. Why everybody motherfucking taking that teeth out getting veneers? He wanted a body. The veneers. That's what I mean. That, that they could have got the house with it instead of getting them teeth. I, I thought she said when she first went on 
um, when she first was on, uh, what was it? Love and Hip Hop? Mm-hmm. Is that where she started at, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love and Hip Hop. Mm-hmm. Uh, when she first appeared on there, I thought she said that her, her um, Candy gave her this yeah. large amount of money or whatever because her and Candy are supposed to be cousins or whatever, <laughs> something of that nature. Yeah. So she was saying that Candy yeah. had given her this large amount of money and Candy was saying that she would never give her any money in the past because she just was like really reckless and doing all these crazy yeah. things and she didn't have her life in order. So right. why wouldn't she have taken that money and gotten a place for her and her kids then? Right. Candy people. Yeah, her and Candy are really When she first oh, appeared on Love and Hip Hop, that was a part no of her storyline. Mm-hmm. All, all, all I got to do is go get her a pack of rack. Child, they do not do no credit <laughs> checks. They do not do no background checks, girl. Go get you a what pack of rack. What is a pack of rack? Uh, one of the pack of rack storage units that you park outside of that people put you in. Know <laughs> you know what? You know what? Well, she going to turn the storage unit into an apartment. They a hundred pack of rat, baby. They will pack your ass up, put you in there, and you no credit checks, nothing. All you got to pay is $55 a month. And Ooh, she can, or she can go in. Go in yeah, there with you, the kids. Oh, you know, you, you come out when you want she to. Can, go in she you can go to. down to the hood and get one of them people who can write her some CPNs and make her some fake check stubs. And I know that's a whole right. new identity. <laughs> <laughs> and start over and get her a double wide trailer. Get her a double kids. wide trailer. Well, who she signed to? Well, why can't it won't let her stay in the guest the room? The crack house. Yeah. Ooh, she must be signed uh, to Candy with them teeth, with them buccaneers in her mouth. She signed the dungeon records. Not <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> we know why we know why she won't let uh candy uh she won't let uh old girl stay over there in that goddamn um in that goddamn house because ain't Riley Bird's daddy staying over there. Block over there staying in the block. <laughs> Mm. Oh, we done heard it all. And they and they keep getting them teeth put in their mouths. Like I said, I saw uh uh the rhinestone princess cousin at the place the other day at Escape Lounge in Fort Lauderdale. Them teeth in person, I ain't never seen them teeth in person before. They really do look fake. Like I ne- on TV, they look kind of nice. But in real life, they look big, bulky, and just look like you take them out of your mother's mm-hmm. house. Don't do that no more. I was about to say, please don't, please don't, the house, because there was no teeth down. Yes, they they were no teeth up there. Yes, y'all ain't see that rapper finesse two time teeth looking like made her from the movie cars. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> they they have to all go to the same damn dentist to get that shit done because all of their teeth look just like horses' teeth. Like they're way too big for mm-hmm. them. Dollars for them big ass teeth. When I tell you for the first time, because I ain't never been around no celebrities, and I saw them things in person. I said these things are big as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they was white though. That's why I they all, they all must be probably going to Doctor Heavenly in in Atlanta if they all in Atlanta area. They're going to Doctor Heavenly yeah. probably. Mm-hmm. Uh, Finesse too time. Couldn't wait to get him a bag to go put some motherfucking train tracks on his. That shit like a hot ass ass. Ass. That shit was ridiculous. What yeah. happened to like braces? Gorilla? All that, these that, people that. got all this money and got no braces. They can't just put it in like Fantasia did. Oh, no, they don't need no braces. They need train tracks. Uh-uh. Oh, cool. Train tracks on the motherfucker. Gorilla's team. Gorilla, 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 glow to hell. Yeah. They made her teeth way too big too for her mouth. Way too big. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They made her teeth way too big too for her mouth. Way too big. Got a new song out. That's a boy. And he still ain't got a man, child. He's still on Jack and Grinder. <laughs> okay, somebody. <laughs> And they said, oh, wait a minute, let me go over here. They said that uh, Drake got to go to court for extensions murder. And they say Takeoff was supposed to go to court too. And they trying to wonder why did this might have a connection to extensions um, case. They said Drake has been subpoenaed and that Takeoff was also subpoenaed. What? Well, I thought they said when that um, incident first happened that um, 
Drake was affiliated with taking that young man's life. Dude, I heard something about when it first happened, but I didn't know that they were subpoenaing him. To, I thought, you know how the internet just be talking. I guess yeah. they subpoenaed him to go to court. Mm -hmm. So what happened to him? I thought somebody shot him outside of a, of a in a car or something. Yeah, they yeah. did. So when it all first happened, I mean, like they were saying throughout the internet that like Drake was the one that set it all up. What? Uh, yeah, this is the thing. Him and him and SS and Tentacion and Drake had been beefing, and he had put online. He said, "If anything happened to me, it was Drake did." It. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yes, yeah. he actually put that on Instagram. He tagged that. I think it was either Instagram or Twitter, and um. He had tagged that. So uh, when he was leaving a motorcycle dealership, you know, he was ambushed, you know, or whatever. And he said that if anything happened to him, Champagne Poppy did it, which is Drake. Sure did. And actually, I, I, if I can recall, when it all first happened, well, before it had happened, he was actually in a studio and he had mentioned the same thing. Like he was doing an interview or he might have just been on. Mm -hmm. He might have just been on, on um, live or whatever, but he was actually seeing it then, too. Mm. And you, I mean, right out of his mouth that, you know, like, if anything happens to me, Drake did it, he was involved or whatever. But I also, I, I thought that, if I can remember clearly, I thought that Drake wanted to sign him and he wouldn't go to Drake's label or whatever Drake had going on at that time. I mm. thought it had something to do with that, too. Well, the thing about it was is that Drake had used um, some of his lyrics, I believe, from um, from his song "Look at Me," and you know, Tentacion got online. You know what I'm saying? Because you know he was he was a SoundCloud rapper, and you know he blew up because people was a you know you a SoundCloud rapper and you accusing one of the biggest you know artists in the hip hop for stealing your your flow, you know, mm. and you, your song and. Um, so, you know, they had they was they was beef they were beefing over that, you know what I'm saying? And then they, you know, he was talking about that Drake didn't write his own music, and it was just a lot of stuff as far as surrounding around Drake taking SSS to Tassion's flow. So he was saying, Drake, you stole my flow. You don't really rap like that for real. You stole it from me, you know. And mm. they like they was beefing for a minute, Queen. And then he was like, if something happened to me, Drake did it. You know what I'm saying? So he was ambushed in 2018. Leaving from a dealership. I think it was four men or something mm. that's been charged already, but he's a witness, you know, in the case or whatever. And I guess they're just using, you know, the fact that Tentacion said that, you know, Drake did this to him. It's happened to him. You know, I believe that's the reason why they call it Drake as a witness. But mm. there isn't evidence yet that he was directly involved, you know, in having him killed or whatever. Mm -hmm. So y'all trying to say Drake is a Don and he done sent a hit out on somebody. Oh, you got a party? I mean, when you got a lot of money, you could put a hit out on anybody. You could put you could, you could put money. A crackhead to take the money. Mm. I ain't boy. saying nothing. I'm just going by what they said. They spoke it out of their own mouths. So I ain't saying that. I ain't putting no words on nobody's mouth. They said it out their own mouth. So no, I'm just saying, when you got money, mm. that's what you can do. When you got, it, I mean, all you got, you can find a crackhead on the side of the road, a hobo, a parking lot lizard on the side of the road, and say, "Listen." I got 15 bands for you if you take this gun and go shoot, and they're gonna go do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they sure got on drugs. I mean, you know, well, what I'm I tell crackhead twice, you know, it don't matter. Or you can do get somebody to do something, you say, I'll pay for your lawyer. Or I mean, I don't know how they set this shit up, but I know if you got money like that, you can do that. You right. know, so if somebody feel like that, you know, this who did it, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a guy in Alabama, his name is Rashim Carter. You know what I'm saying? He was out of town working. And, you know, some white men that he was working with killed, you know, was chasing him and threatening him. And he texted his mama, told his mama, look, if something happened to me, my boss did it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. People with money try to use their power, you know, to, 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 to try to, you know, get away with a lot of things that they do. But mm -hmm. I think Drake did something to it. You know, niggas be paranoid, too. I want to know if anything has come out about that man, uh, Ellen DeGeneres man. Y'all heard anything extra about him? And if he was on Jack or not? Oh, Twitch. What? <laughs> <laughs> that man went on no damn Jack. 
No. I, I, <laughs> yeah, for Anna. I, 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 I man mean, love white pussy. Personally, I feel like he might have been sacrificed too, but I still I believe too that it had a lot to do with whatever this scam was that was going on with this. Uh, I might have been a PR person in Hollywood or something that was saying that. She had a, I mean, he had a great idea to make them all money because it was supposed to have been somebody else that came out, out on the internet and was saying that, you know, they had dealings with this same person and she took money, well, he took money from them also. And yeah. it was just a big thing about some money. Evidently, he invested like all of his life savings from what they're saying. That could just be a cover up too. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Suicide is very serious, and you know, I don't know. We don't know really what happened. He really, really, really could have been dealing with stuff, and we're just missing like nothing mm -hmm. that we're saying happened really happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? People go through stuff that's deeper than anybody can help them. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, his I mom spoke out that he wasn't suffering, um, that, that he wasn't suffering financially. Yeah, she said he wasn't suffering financially. <laughs> She don't know. She just, you know, she said that she's a, she just, it wasn't like her husband. And, I, you know, when you, yeah, you know, she knows him. And your husband just get up and leave. I can see you going down to the police department or calling 911 trying to figure Hold out. On. Husband I'm left. sorry. I don't mean to cut you off. Miss Queen, did you say his wife said that he wasn't suffering financially? Yeah. She put out a statement and said that he was not, that those statements was false, that he was not suffering financially. But like when? as his wife, she knows his schedule, his moves. Yeah, his that's what I'm saying. So okay. that's why I'm saying Anna for Anna. But listen to this, Queen. Listen to this. Okay. Now I'm not, believe me, I'm not racist by no means, but I mean, like, I I cannot believe no white women. Because I mean, like, if it all went down like that, oh. why would it why was she saying that she didn't even realize that this man was gone and that was not even nowhere near his routine and was definitely out of order for him to be gone all at least i mean all night like he right. left i mean like who and without his car i without mean car. i mean you don't know how people sleep some people sleep hard some people sleep easy some people sleep where if your husband get up out the bed or your wife get out the bed you don't even know they got up out the bed hell I now mean, i'm sorry you don't no. know that you don't know what her man got out that bed <laughs> It might be playing like she's sweet, but that not open. Soon as that nigga get out that bed, she looking. And the kids oh, ain't see nothing. Man. The kids ain't see him get up and leave. Oh, Nobody saw him get he up had and leave. Kids too. I was like, well, why would he? Then not only kids? that, all, all of this house and all this money, and you all have no mm -hmm. camera security, nothing mm -hmm. around this house. Really? Now you know. Somebody was trying to find black Why you got something. no goddamn camera? Exactly. Well, exactly. At least a damn ring light. If you got one eye open and trying to figure out if your man getting out of bed, then that means you either don't trust him or, or you know you got it's not even about on. that. But I mean, if you if you and your husband has been together that many years and you feel the comfort of him not being in the bed with you, regardless of what hour of the night it is, it's not about being insecure. It's a, for real. It's a it's a safety mechanism to me in my mind. If you getting up in the middle of the night, babe, what you hear? What's going on? Are you right? right? Come right. on, now. Ain't nobody insecure about shit for they men getting up in the middle of no, the I night. I said that you were insecure. Just no, but I'm saying no, no, no. I I get that what you're saying, but here's what I'm saying: is it's it's definitely not an insecurity thing when it comes to your man getting up out of the bed with one eye open and one eye closed. I mean, hell, as many as things is going on in this world right now, like that's mm -hmm. basically literally how how you have to sleep right we about. Oh, so, dude, we gonna wake up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm hell of a cold eyes. We know your ass done got out of bed. Yeah, definitely. And my mama knew every time her front door was open. Uh, who opened my motherfucking door? I exactly. know that, well, that's right. Exactly. Every Looking time. out the window. One time you came through that motherfucker too. Mm -hmm. so, she well, you don't know white off. women might not do that, ladies and gentlemen. We, you know, this is black. You know, it said black. You know, white women might not do that. They probably. You know, they probably sleep hard as hell. They, you know what I'm saying? I just don't, I don't think the lady up to the man. I thought that, but then when I read more into it, I'm just like, okay, 
you know, she may just be real, real innocent. She may not really know what happened, what was going on. It's unlike him. You know what I'm so saying? So was he living a secret life then if she didn't know? We don't have no evidence. So let's get back to what I said. Was he on POF? Jack, <laughs> Ryder, Tender. Well, I think Maybe he was, it was a woman. That nigga was over there. So the streets gonna tell it. Word on the street. That word on the curb. If he was, mm. somebody done spotted his ass like they spotted Lafayette's ass on wide open. Mm. Yeah. Now could have been that something was about there. to come out Nobody against knew. him. Nobody knew that. Mm. That's could it be that something was about to come out against him, and he was trying to divert from it coming out. Or was he trying to buy some drugs for the house, and the drug deal went wrong? You gonna kill yourself over that? He ain't kill himself. They said, "Put that gun to your head and pull the trigger, or I'm gonna kill you." Now, what you gonna do? And he, y'all ain't watch no TV where the people be like, "You gonna pull the trigger? I'm gonna watch you pull the trigger. Or I'm gonna kill you." And he had to pull his own trigger, or they well, probably had somebody watching his house. I'm going well, back to the gunshot at the hotel. None of the people in the rooms heard no noise. Right? They said they didn't hear no gunshots. And then he have kids. Child at a yeah. motel, y'all just used to hearing gunshots. I had gunshots all day. It don't phase me at all. Okay. I don't even blink. <laughs> Honestly, I'm 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 not like I said, I'm not prejudiced by no means, but I'm not believing no white woman. I'm sorry. She's gonna have to prove all her innocence from A to Z to me for me to believe any of their stories because they all have been turned out to be some complete liars and would do That's our black true. men any type of way, regardless of how many years they've been with them or whatever. Those would be the first ones to be quick to turn on our black men. All so white people not bad, is, though. I feel like yeah. she the niggas, has... You really got to worry about, something. though. Sure live. It's the niggas. It's the black people that you really, really be have to worry about, though. Not mm -hmm. all white people like that, though. Do you know what I'm saying? I no. feel it's not 50 50. It's bad black, it's bad white. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's but bad it's people. Bad all when over. you be in these interracial relationships, it does bring extra drama. It just does. Yes. They just they just as crazy as us. We get crunk, they get crunk, them bitch, and we were all women by our men. Right. right. A little words. And, and I want to talk to that person at that front desk. They know their husband's secrets and they use it and they yeah, 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 yeah. Just because we ain't accepting no nigga that like to get fucked. They do. Yeah. <laughs> but then it be uh -huh. other, little, other little shit that is yeah, 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 yeah. Don't know, black or white, don't know man be wanting to hear all that shit. They'll run you in the arms of another one. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, they tried to make it seem like they didn't have no problem. So I guess that's why we kind of like, okay, well, I thought y'all were just TikTok dancing last night. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. just celebrated a nine year anniversary. But Queen, you know, the enemy, the devil is really getting into the minds of people. And he yeah. is really making people. That's why I say get under the bed. That what they are going through is so serious that it's like they can't live through it or you know make it. And he's making them say, "Well, there's no other choice. Kill your life. People don't love you. You know what I'm saying? You're not really happy. You know what I'm saying? You know the, you know, the, the and devil. first one you can talk to. Yeah. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Cause that shit ain't real. That means that shit is real. Mm. That shit is really real. Depression is real as fuck. Mm -hmm. Just a, just a quick snippet back on the um, I, I, IG model that killed her African boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, isn't this the same IG model whose dad, her and her dad went out of in out of country and was like in the hotel drinking and partying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought so. I thought mm -hmm. so. I thought so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's great. Oh, that's it at all. Hey, that's all I had to say. That's all I had to say. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, gonna look. Well, we hope that um, we hope that the truth comes out, but yes, you know, mm -hmm. it's it all I want to talk to that lady at that front desk because she saw something. Mm. That white girl ain't going to jail. No, nah, she's going to jail. She ain't going to jail. Hey, Queen. Hey, baby. Hey, grab it. Try to call you about 50,000 times. Look, you got to. What's this? Okay, okay. So, Queen, I ain't heard y'all talk about it yet, but 
I want to talk about Diddy having that party for his twins. Yeah. I didn't like that. I did not like it. I did not like it. Everybody, I done got into what people on the internet because I said that Diddy is having grooming parties for his children. Mm. Now, when the 16 year olds would ask, ask, like, how they would do this, you see, I seen them children. I said they had on panty, a period panties and bras. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on. Isn't they older than 16? No, you know, and then the game, no, but what really killed me was, I, you know, we ain't seen the game, little daughter, since then. Oh, uh, uh, that you all remember it? Uh, when remember the game that? had its own, um, when the game had its own show. Yeah, yeah. So, game daughter, so when I seen that game daughter, I mean, uh, well, I said 12 years old with her titties out in the street in that itty bitty ass dress all Ooh, looking yeah, like a last girl going to fucking Jensen's and them. They got to let her have on that goddamn makeup on like she was fucking 21. I said, who is this little bitch? And when they said that it was a game daughter, I said the game ain't nothing but a pervert ass bitch too and got the nerve to say that him and his aunt and his baby mama is straight. Bitch, then why she ain't have no clothes on? We got the picture of the game daughter in that white and silver. Pull the pictures up because clearly Diddy up over there having grooming parties with his nasty ass. And back, I'll be sure. You see, I'll be sure just got out of the hospital. We got, got, got his straight to his I'm throat. Trying to find it. I'm trying to find the picture. First of all, I did. I did. That's why I said, well, damn, what they did to Al B was Al B about to tell something. Al B, Al B had to tell the truth because I already know if Kim was here, Kim would have would have had none of that shit going on up over there. It was a whole sex party going down at them twins' birthday party. Uh -huh. I was talking about the Why why did they have them have on an extra outfit when they went outside to go get their car? What? Why is Al B looking like that? I did not appreciate that. And Diddy is a dirty bitch. What's her name to Carisha? Please, her non verbal ass the, too uh, up the over there with him doing the mouse. You know what? The baby, uh, I felt like she was, I said, well, who put makeup on her? She only 12. I want to know who really put makeup on that baby because it was nothing but kid. And what the fuck she doing at a 16 year old part? Who Yeah, she only got, uh, they only die. Look. They oh, mm. 12 years old at a six. I couldn't even hang out with my sister. And that bitch is only a few years, three years older than me. And I'm 29. That bitch 32. I couldn't even hang out with her when she was 16. I was 13. Right. I mean, and when you looked at her face, it's no way she's 12. So I was like, well, this how 12 year olds going to school. Oh, child. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm trying to figure it out, and I want to know where is the game son at because they now they are he's only popping up with these kids. I didn't even know that the game really had was really in his kids' life like that for real. He got had them bitches private, and all of a sudden they out in the street. No, Remember, you doing something, my nigga, with your nasty ass too. Uh, the, oh. the, 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 uh, the game mom, yes. he was show with the school teacher. Yeah, with the school teacher where he was doing all that fuck shit, cheating on her and stuff, at her looking crazy. Hold on. Uh uh. They said the game. Yeah, the game I seen her, and when they, they sent the picture in, she was squatting down. So then I said, well, why is she squatting down like she Megan is dying? And I was like, well, what, what is this? And then they said, well, she at Diddy party. And I was like, well, she 12. So then I, I looked, I seen the pictures that Diddy daughters had on. I said, child, well, I guess this is, I said, well, this is a kitty party. It's in the wintertime. It's cold. Where they at with this on? Oh, and Queen, there go another one too. Well, how how Lotto get her own day there she go. over there, there and, 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 and talk. That's 12. There she go. That's 12. That's she 12. Was not 12. So that's she the game. Now, now she was when she was a baby. Well, she we was 16. Play. She yes, when well, she was a baby, she was like three years old with them pretty ass eyes, with them green eyes. Swipe it. We can't swipe it. Yep. They just took it off. I don't know what's going on with these but children. That's her, that's her. That's her. That's her. That's the picture. They said that th that was her at the party. She got on a little mini skirt. Now, she tried to cover it because she's squatting. But why would you squat with a skirt on that short in the first goddamn place? Which is the Bruce Jenner. <laughs> and why was she posing how she was posing? With makeup on. Who's dental daughter? Who's the and she how old? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no. That girl, girl is not 12. <laughs> oh, switch up. Look, at was this a burlesque party? Exactly. That's what I said too. Because why is y'all all dressed like that? I said Jeffrey Epstein did the guest list, huh? Jazine, what's that lady name that's in prison? Jazine Maxwell. No, it's too much. It's too much. Um, I put in. I just that's all I really want to say though, see, because it was really irritating me though. Looking like this, this I can't keep slipping on. There she go. Now, but you know, game is the one that he did. Um, he did uh big up R. Kelly, so he probably wasn't R. Kelly figures too. <laughs> oh, well, mm -hmm. she was a baby, and here she go at twelve. We felt like that the outfit was inappropriate. The stance, the the the, the, the pose was the pose, everything. A mess. The makeup was inappropriate. Let's hope that's her hair. If not, the wig is inappropriate. Okay, she on the back. She's been on the game in a while. We can't even hear about um, Tory Lanez and Megan, uh, Tory, Tory Lanez and Megan's because it's who shot who. At this point, we need the foot to come and tell us who shot who. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> now we need the foot to come. Talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need the foot to come on the stand and come and talk to the people. And the other, what's the um? The, I, I don't know who that is on the uh, on the panel that said that about Bobby Lights in the um, in the club. Bobby Lights was just popped up on my damn movies on Instagram, and he the bitch really looked like an alien for real. No. Yeah, he was in Escape Lounge in Fort Lauderdale. I was just over there last Friday. Uh -uh. A fucking alien, ugly as hell. And Krishan and that day. Oh, here we go about the Krishan thing. Okay, so this is going to be the last one, Queens. Now, I don't subscribe to Zeus channel. Is that what they own? Zeus? I don't subscribe to Zeus channel, but I'll be watching on my system. Now, um, Blueface, you know, the daddy, they really set that daddy up real cold because the brother grabbed the daddy. You know, probably come like, yeah, Pops, you know. We run up up over there, then we got your back after that. But it was an epic fail. And Blueface, the Blueface, no, oh my God, Blueface had to do what he had to do. But the brothers will be a bitch ass nigga too, because first of all, Blueface, all of your sister face, all of in your, all your sisters and your mama face were all the hot shit, and you just stand there like a hoe and let your daddy do the do your standard? No. So that's, that's I feel Krishan. You feel me? I feel Krishan. Y'all niggas over here acting like y'all all oh, y'all love me and shit like that. Y'all don't love me. Y'all on TV. I got y'all on TV. I'm putting y'all on. I put money in y'all pockets so niggas can really see y'all. And look what look what y'all doing. Stay out of that girl business. If she want to get her ass beat and Blueface want to get his ass beat, let them just beat each other up. The baddest man hit the hands. Mm -mm. Yep, and the brother is a bitch too because you stood right there and let Blueface talk to your sister in that, in that kind of way. You were all bro, period. He ain't help his sister. They say his hand was broke. Yeah, his hand was broke, damn bro. The way Blueface got yeah. up on that daddy and bitch, you let you let the, the nigga draw blood from your daddy. You is a bitch. Mm. I can't believe she let him draw blood from her daddy too. She don't care. I'm telling them people that ain't been in that girl life that. It's really sad when you hear about her story. Then people ain't been up in her life. She loved her mama. You gonna, you know, at the end of the day, you gonna love your mama. But her mama wasn't no good. She used to sit there and let her daddy. The mama used to let the daddy beat on her like it was nothing. It was no good representation in the house. You had a bunch of crackheads, drug addicts, probably hoeing going on, abuse, hello abuse. See, you don't even know. Chris, I probably got molested in that fucking house with all that shit going on. Ain't no like she, she really give me victim vibes of really wanting to be loved and neglect. You know, she was neglected and shit like that. Like she too needy. I can't stand a bitch that's too needy like that. And Blueface too. Blueface know what he doing and over there with this bitch and baby mama and all that fucking. They were doing you know, all that cottage cheese covered out her all her pussy. Ooh. No. Oh, 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 <laughs> Cottage cheese. Yes, cottage cheese queen. Like that's not okay. All that alcohol. You know that girl. You know blue face that girl don't be drinking no water. All that. that nigga keep that girl drunk. He keep her drunk. 
Uh, yeah, this don't know nothing about the water. Uh, uh. Yeah. I'm sick of their ass over there. He exploding that damn girl. He is. Kaya, you gotta say it one time. One <laughs> I don't know. I just see the video of that girl doing a little show that she was on before. I said, this can't be Kashawn with this voice. She had a pretty ass voice. Exactly. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Why do you sound like that? Why do you sound like that? That shit is reckless. I said, what the artist is doing now? Shit, <laughs> all that shit they do a messing up and stuff. But you know, we can't all blame it on Blueface. It's her ass too, cause you is only in control of your own brain. That nigga ain't in your head. You can't be that too big. Well, queen, you did make a song called Dickmatized, but I know it wasn't because that of that, queen. Ain't no, that's all that's past Dickmatized. This shit was on the know what was in his phone yeah. when he was in the bathroom and, sh- and he kicked down that door. He kicked the that door. That bitch needs a good bath. She needs a good bath queen. She needs some blue. She just up and so she needs some Florida water. We can go down there to Florida and go get some good shit for her queen to wash her ass she, down. She need to be drowned in the Florida water. I'm talking about you got to duck her for a long time. Leave her under there. We need some. We need, we need all of them to come over there. Oh, my goodness. And all of them from Baltimore or where they from? Where, I think they from. Uh, yeah, I think they all from Baltimore. Mm-hmm. I think they all from Baltimore, but you know, yeah, but I wonder if they gonna show me how Krishan was beating up um Blueface Mama too. I wanna see all that. They wanna show how he up over here beating up her family. Uh, they, she had them beat up the mama before they start uh, filming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They had they, they, it had already happened. That's a damn shame. Yes, Queen Megan. You know, it's just that's all we see right now on the internet is Megan and motherfucking Blueface and Diddy and his ugly ass kids. Oh, no. I'll be sure. Who else? Who else on there? Lizzo sitting up crying and shit. The girl, shut up. Um, <laughs> I was being really good with my voice. Remember me and my sisters was always alive that one time and I said, uh, how Kamala ass over there acting like she black in the meat. And them boy like a suit. But I Kamala? I still wanna know where is Kamala. We ain't seen Kamala inauguration. We ain't seen Kamala. We ain't seen her. Kamala we ain't seen her since. We need it, Joe. We need to stare down, Queen, because where is the famous Kamala from the White House? We don't see none of these hoes outside. Why she gonna get up Michelle and her clothes? That bitch ain't made it nowhere. She made it on her most to her knees, groveling to the uh, caucuses. That's what she been doing. That's all she been doing. And what about the money, Queen? What about the money that they keep giving to Ukraine? They they slowly selling out America, Queen. It's gonna happen real soon. They slowly, right? Was slowly at this point. It's at a rapid pace. You know how many people I've been seeing? You know. Because I'm in LA. So many people down Skid Row area, all this shit. And so many kids down there with no clothes on, mm-hmm. no shoes, hungry, sleeping in their cars, parents, junkies, addicts, all type of shit. You know, where is the money for the programs for the people that need help? Joe, sleepy Joe Biden. Oh, y'all ain't see they uh, busting them immigrants to New York City and uh, we gotta know where is the real money for the truth. Don't worry about me, bitch. I'm from a different fucking country. My son is born here. Why he ain't getting um the real shit? What about the PEBC? They they need no EBC hot. Oh, all the money is gone. All the Mexicans is getting on the EBC cars. I can't get me one. Uh, Me and all my nigga friends are trying to get in We can't get no EBT. Oh, Lord. Y'all better go down there to Skid Row and pass out some blankets. <laughs> 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 they say it's supposed to be a blizzard in California. A blizzard? Uh, Everybody supposed to be cold for Christmas and shit. What the fuck is going on? Queen? You said Hawaii. Was yeah, cold. they said Hawaii. Queen. Oh. It's so cold over here, Queen. It's so cold. It's Southern like thirty-eight California degrees every night. I said snow in Southern California this weekend. It's supposed to be snow. Okay. It ain't even no money in the whole store right now, Queen. Child. Okay, it's cold. Put it on freeze. The pussy can't sell in the cold, queen. Pussy can't sell, it's gonna freeze. It's cold. So the children are hungry. 
<laughs> and they say that the people down there is sleeping in their cars, just like you said, and they were saying um, for travel this weekend, like if people is traveling, that the roads might be icy. Now, y'all remember last Christmas and people was on the interstate stuck for two mm -hmm. in the snow, couldn't get what? out. Dry. Motherfuckers was trying to put food and water to babies out there, cold freezing to death. Here it come again. I don't know if they're doing something to the weather. I don't know. They got a damn you know what? Just having wild know, you know, this is you know I haven't heard from Queen in a long time, so I kind of want to just say all the things I've been seeing Jordan and the things that's been bothering me. You know that whole Zaya, that whole Zaya Wade thing is really annoying too. Um, Gabby, I really wish Gabby could hear me because bitch, you really ain't nobody, mama. You ain't even got a mama, bitch. Because if you had a mama, you would know not to step into another mother's business with their child. Right. <laughs> Period. You up over there. This, you explain it. We all know what you're doing. You ain't your bazoo, blouse ass husband yes. with your fucking nail polish on the shit. Who, ain't no real woman laying in no bed with no. With this bitch, because he got a some more money, bitch, you real union. What you doing? Uh, oh. I, I, everything is getting weirder and weirder. Okay, I would have no Zaya. No, I go like Zaya is pretty, you know. But it's like, how you know if this this? I'm, I gotta call it what it is. How you know if this this young boy didn't even want to do all of this? Y'all forcing this. Every time I see Zaya, he ain't smiling. He mad as hell. Why he, why he not smiling? You feel me? And then he's sitting there laid up with y'all. What you ever see? You don't never see none of other Dwayne, other kids besides the ones that she had out of another bitch's pussy and this one that she thinking that this is her child, this son. Mm -hmm. This boy, this boy girl. No. Mm -hmm. You was nobody's mama, bitch. You was foul for what you've been doing, Gabby. And let that, the mama, now you know the mama of Zaya really probably would have been like, you know what, son? Do what you want to do, but let's just wait until you turn 18. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's just wait real quick. Now, of course, she will all forever love her child because she that's her belly pain. She felt pain for that. Gabby, she ain't, you ain't felt no pain for that bitch. You didn't feel pain for little kids. You're a mad ass too. Exactly. Wait a Why that lady ain't got her kids? You know, a mother need to have her own fucking children. They plotted to get Gabby plotted and took that lady kid. I could just imagine what Gabby probably did. You know, she's old nasty ass October Scorpio. You know, you know, Queen, we don't like the October Scorpio. We don't fuck with the October. Shit, they better be like us, Queen's November Scorpios only. Because, look, bitch, you, this is the type of shit that they be on. I don't like that, Gabby. You fall for that. Yeah, she, she is. She is. We the people ain't side with her on We ain't never fuck with Gabby, though. Yes, we're sick of that bitch for a nasty ass bitch. Why? I would just put, 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 put your niggas' legs all the way to the sky. Let everybody know that you just suck out his ass like it was a fucking popsicle. Child, did you see her? Did you hear her say that? Oh my god. Terrible. 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 Terr
Oh. Well, look at drug addicts and shit like that. You know how drug addicts do? You let them one minute, but when they get clean and free, they just they forget about you and all kinds of shit. Nikki, she just sat there talking about Nikki, you know what I'm saying? Said that Nikki was a little timid, she got a little hard. Now, I knew Nikki was a, I knew Nikki was a scary ass bitch. Uh -huh. Anyway, I knew she was scary. So what was the deal? Did Gucci want to fuck? Or he didn't want to fuck? Or what? Yeah, he wanted to. He wanted to. Uh, he didn't like Nikki because Nikki shot him down. Like nigga, I want to fuck you. See, I wouldn't want to fuck you. Doesn't fight Gucci either. <laughs> Shit, that big ass belly, that drippy ass mouth. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Please. The only bitch not want to fuck Gucci now was that bitch that done took all her ribs. Now she got some more ribs to have his new baby. Lord, she I wonder what this baby girl name. What's this? What's that baby name? Ice girl, please, please. Oh, out of Jamaica. Oh, hey, you know, um, Mimi man, fine as hell, huh? Who man? Mimi leaks. Yeah. Uh, well. Bigger than her. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I go like Queen Jack is a fun thrill. Now, see, you know what? I think your gate is off too. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to say that, that candy girl gate off, or maybe she just won't what she won't. Poor horse or two gate off, and he go yours off. Now, that man. <laughs> don't read me, Queen. Don't read me. You seen that nigga at the wedding with that pocketbook and them sandals? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> say, mm, mm, mm. I don't know. I don't know. He's a handsome man, though. He is. He is a handsome man. He look a little um, I think. I think. Portia got her little man all the way together too, though. No lie, he was a little raggedy when he was with that other looking bitch. Now, what was what kind of chick was she? Black and what? Honey, we know airbrushing when we see one. Ooh. Okay. That old ass nigga belly and skin. That nigga looks still the ugly ass thing like Trick Daddy. Don't get crazy. Now see you get not me. still. You gave me <laughs> <everybody's filters and laughs> <shit. laughs> not Trick Daddy Queen. You know that nigga look like Trick Daddy Daddy. I say not that poor horse or two is airbrushing this fucking African for these bad pictures. I'm done. You got that. <laughs> So, oh my God! Well, you know, we'll clear up the next time because I already got a bad headache. I'm gonna continue to watch the show. Bye, everybody on the panel. Bye, bye. bye. bye Queen. Bye, baby, thank you. Bye, bye. bye. Don't act like Portia no bathe in beauty now. She said, "Listen, still Portia fine. is still cute." Fine you heard about that? Portia is surgery ready. She looking like a motherfucking ninja turtle without that makeup and that hair. Look at Lauren. Queen, you heard about them two little girls. Two little funny too. And what's she doing? Who is this nigga Lori Harry supposed to be messing with? Yeah, they said nobody. Uh, oh damn. Yeah, she interest. was another motherfucker. They said was the, was was the dude who she was just with friend. Is this true? Yeah, she gonna have him in the hospital too. Lori, keep a nigga Harvey. <laughs> yeah. not. Is you live? You better hope he got a man. Can we really live with you? Hey, you live. You got to cut your, your phone, your TV down or whatever. I'm here. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I was just trying this on you because I did not even move your rolling, okay? <laughs> hey, is this really good? It is. How are you? Oh, my God. He said you're blessing. I'm doing fantastic. Good to hear from I'm you. I'm at home. Okay, look, it's a couple of ones you can miss with me. Now, you see Kobe Bryant wife with this day, Paul Gasol, right? Uh-uh. You ever heard about that one? Look that up. Uh, Kobe Bryant's wife with Paul Gasol. It was another one I wanted to talk about, but it just slipped my mind because you just took me off guard. Like, you didn't make me clean. Oh, my God. That one and who else? Um, something else, whatever. But anyways, it's a pleasure to talk to you. I was not expecting this. Well, it's a pleasure to talk to you too. But um, let me see. Oh, God, I'm going to say you took me on guard. I think I need, I need to go take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> who you said Vanessa was with? Paul the song. Oh. You know the from uh, from the Lakers. Went back to the white man. They got a picture um uh of a little girl sitting on his lap. So they've been they I think they've been looking up on the side. What? Mm hmm. Yep. You know, you gotta do what you have to do. You know, you need, you know, 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 you know
we're going to give her a pass that she waiting on. <laughs> she she did too much. <laughs> Uh, 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 so it, 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 I said, has Kobe been dead long enough? Does she deserve a little dick? I don't know. You, you, oh, you, uh, how you, long you, you got to be dead before you can give up the pussy? Well, I guess so. I guess you're right. She just can't sit in the freezer forever, right? <laughs> if you, if you want to get out get thawed out. But oh my God, yes. Uh, what else? It was something else. Oh, as I was listening to you guys, and uh, so this is real live right now. What is this? You live, baby. They say he, they say Vanessa met that motherfucker Kobe introduced her to uh, Gasol. Why they both played for the Lakers? They was team. The they was waiting. Right right you don't think that's going on? The, uh, they say the two families often spent time together at each other's houses. Their children mm -hmm. played together. So he was a friend to Kobe. Are they mm -hmm. best friends or she went to fucking the friend and, and the wife don't know? <laughs> okay, what about this uh this TJ Holmes too with the white girl on the uh on the news on the news of the board? Uh that's in California we got out here. Mm. On the Good Morning America, TJ Holmes. Uh-huh. So that's it. And, and, and he was him and him and the uh his co anchor they been listening around for a long time. Yeah. Let it be said, you know. Yeah. So you think they're gonna yeah. get that time slot back for the new year? Or are they fired permanently? <laughs> they gone. You know, good new America. They gonna keep their brand wholesome, okay? Okay. Yep. So uh, I think that was it. But uh, but oh my God, I, I listen to you all the time. You've been aware of me cracking up the whole time. What is this when she was saying the go throat? I said I ain't never heard no shit like that in my life. <laughs> Where do you come up with this shit? This is gag on the line. We gang. Okay, so I can't believe it. Well, I'll be calling through. My name is Nimi. Nice to meet you, Nimi. It's a pleasure. And uh, remember, Nimi Bay truck driver. I'll be calling through. Okay, baby. I sure will. Thank you. Happy holidays. And you and your guests have a happy holiday. You too. Bye -bye. You too. Uh, they just cutting up in them comments, queen. And That's why I've been sitting here laughing. I was about to say this. Y'all still act like y'all ain't heard what Nene said. Uh, yeah. I heard it. He said Vanessa Bryant been laid up creeping with Paul Gasol that used to play with Kobe for the LA Lakers and that they all used to do family vacations together. Uh, and that she was kind of sitting on his lap. And all what? Paul Gasol. Look at the queen. I don't know nobody about uh -uh. <laughs> So so, I, I, well, I mean, I thought she was fucking Lala. No, it just oh, it was, was all a Lala. matter of time before she came out and and was going to be exposed. Uh, it was yeah. just a matter of time. Just well, a matter of time. You I, need I, to I, to believe she waited long enough and sat on that pussy long enough. You know, she was just uh, eating it. Uh, she wasn't getting no dick in it. Now, is it time for her to get a little dick? Or, or she, it's time. She can have a little bit every now and then. going to let her get a little bit of dick. Now, Kobe been dead how many years? Uh, we going to allow her to get a little bit of, a little bit of dick, or is she dead ass wrong? Hell no. She dead ass wrong. She can get some, but not right now. And it's still too What's early. What's the statute of limitations for she can get some more? First of all, say be a widow, all that money Kobe left your bitch, and nobody should not be seeing uh -uh. you. Exactly. exactly, and then not only that, That's you just sued money. the the helicopter of uh, company that was that was driving that the helicopter that crashed, and you just got all that money from them. So no, your ass should be sitting real still with your kids right about somewhere. <laughs> we the people say you should be sitting your ass real still. It ain't time to get that pussy get up off that pussy. Again. Hell no. Yeah. Hell. Somebody need to tell me what's the statute of limitations for she can start giving up the pussy again because it's, it's been long enough. Day. He could have gave it up a little bit, but wasn't nobody supposed to nude it. There you go, queen. Especially oh God, not with your friends, friends with your husband. You know, it's always a friend. Y'all got to watch these bitches that come y'all be biting. The there you go, queen. Speak. Speak. Always a friend that go to cooking up your husband or wife. Speak. Speak. Was it so Kobe died? But hold on. One thing. Hey, I like that thing called Gasol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gasol, your ass on the docket. You on the yeah. docket. 
But these people in the chat is crazy as hell. Why did they say your callers got to stop calling on these jitterbug phones? I hope I'm humbling. <laughs> family dollar phone. That's club chat. They had their own parties going on in the chat. That was <laughs> when I tell you that whole call, I've been sitting here laughing the whole time about this chat. They said she is on a pay phone and everything. Ooh, now that's like, like you let the chat be loud. Oh. Them along. When they, they, they club chat, gag on the chat. Is you live? Hi. I'm Chris Kai. Oh my God, I had to mute my laptop. I can't hear me, but I see you smiling, beautiful. Oh, over. hey. Um, I've been typing to you and I've been messaging. I wonder if I could turn this down so I can hear y'all. It's not feeding back, is it? No, we can hear you. Okay, so I've actually wanted to touch on, we mentioned Lori Harvey. So nobody mentioned that Lala was dating Damson. The guy who she went now? Yes. So <laughs> Lala was seeing him first. She they were on the internet a couple months ago, and now nobody is like mentioning it at all. But I also wanted to touch on. That was good to um, Oh my God, I typed it in the chat. London. I wanted to big up London on the track. That whole mess with the Caribbean artist, Shinsia, and her son. I feel like she handled that so well. Mm. Oh. Doing the cease and desist. But then there was the whole issue with him going to Dubai with the girl and the child. Well, London has taken it to court and is trying to get custody of his baby. So yeah. big ups to him on that. He's trying to get custody of some Walker baby or his other baby mama? No, the one with Ebony. She's mm -hmm. the one that did the recording of the poor little baby girl telling her to repeat what happened. And oh. still nobody understands what happened. It sounds like the little boy showed her a video of a vagina, but she's saying he touched her. All of that shit shouldn't even be on the internet. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that little girl needs to be removed from that lady's custody. She's traumatizing the child. For what? Clout? Mm -hmm. then, then there was this other mess. Oh, my God. Um, oh. I really can't remember because I'm so nervous. Oh, Carly Bird in Tokyo. Uh, listen, Tokyo is such a sweet soul. That girl bothers no one. I feel so horrible how that went, but Carly Red is going out sad. Yeah. She has a whole 20-something-year-old daughter and is still on people's big TV acting like that, fake crying and hugging up on nobody loves me, girl. You got kids. Right. She she come off the 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 the, the TV now is she's done for. Yeah, she is. And then why she do all that to her face? Listen, she was so beautiful. I think she's jealous of her daughter <sighs> at this point in time. She shouldn't have brought her on the show if she was going to do her best to be her and look like her. Wow. Get mm. other. Mm. Hold on. Tokyo Tony should show up out of here. I watch you all the time. I subscribe. I love you. You should be way bigger in every aspect. But to me, you are the biggest. Oh. Empress. I big up yourself. Tell Thank me, you. sis. Thank you, Queen. Bless it. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Yes, y'all know I can't I can't be bigger because I, I ain't gonna get along with them mutants. Y'all know I ain't gonna play well with others. Them bitches is crazy. I don't want to be with them motherfuckers. Yeah, mm -hmm. but Queen, quick, quick thing. They um Tokyo Tony's in your in your chat. What's that? Tokyo? Why you beat up Carly Red? <laughs> oh, Tokyo Tony. Tokyo Tony. Oh, Tony. Tony. Oh, 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 China Mama. China Crackhead. Hey, baby. She always got some. Yeah. Uh, hey. What, 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 child. They had a video where she was saying, bitch, bitch, bitch. Y'all know Tokyo like to say, bitch. I went to Holland. Yeah. Talking about some Kia. Bitch, you know the name. You right. see? Don't hey, get Tokyo. Me. Tokyo done made the docket quite a few times, huh? That gap. Yeah. Is you lie? Oh, you forgave him, huh? Hey, baby. Uh, hey, God. You better call. We gone at 11. Is you lie? Look, they ain't calling. They hanging up. We done got Kaya, on. I will tell you, anybody that called this motherfucking line a thousand motherfucking times just oh, to me and say bullshit, I was calling the line before I got on the panel. And I'm like, bitch, I done called 17 million times. That's why. Get me on the panel. I said, okay, I'm going to do some. I'm going to do six to ten. So the calls. Get your own letters offline. Uh -huh. oh. So they. Uh -huh. so the uh, there it so is. And finally, uh, 
get through because that's what people be saying. Everybody don't get through because the mutants be study trying to get through. It's like, bitch, you a fan who gonna call that many times to talk to the queen if you ain't love me, bitch. <sighs> so then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to stay on longer so we can make sure the callers can get through. Queen, hey. Queen, I didn't call the line seven hundred thirty nine thousand times. The mutants trying to keep you from getting through. What's up, T? Oh Lord, not the mutants, Queen. I know y'all busy. I know y'all got a lot going on, but I had to do this for me. Don't get mad at me, Queen. I ain't gonna get mad. I got to put Master P back on the docket. Go on, what you got to say? Because he on the docket for Monday. When I tell y'all Master P had Lil Romeo working harder than Mary J. D. working for goddamn Diddy, he had oh, goddamn <laughs> Romeo performing it. MTV Awards, Kid Trust Awards, the Strolling Picnic, the Delta Convention, the Clark Youth. Goddamn, uh, 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 Master P, you don't let the man have a break? Right. And then he don't want to pay that boy his money? Right. And he want us to Queen. be on his side. No, he needs to Queen, be on his side. he had them all at all at ICDC selling rap snacks, selling uh, t-shirts, no limit soldiers, uh, spin wheel. I said, man, get that get that boy his money. You done took me out with IDCC, DC. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> man, he had that boy working like he working his fingernails to the bone. He showed it. The lawyer in the sick of fear. He showed it. And get that baby his money. He got a little baby, yeah, a beautiful baby, money. and a wife. The wife. And look, another thing too, Quinn, was I have to say. So you you realize like when them Jews and them folks, they be putting their kids in these different positions to win. Right. They set their kids up for 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 for, for uh generational wealth. Uh -huh. Right. Instead of him setting his kids up for generational wealth, he was using that money that his son was making to pay his damn taxes. We gotta put him in there. Can we subpoena uh Master P uh tax documents? Well look, Roman, he had to pay all the money back and now he broke. He's trying to start over. Queen, we need to subpoena Master P. Uh, his his tax documents, like uh, or he is or he in the audit, like Trump. We want an audit and an accounting statement for all deals, cause the Romeo didn't get no cut of the money. Exactly, Queen. We gotta we gotta we gotta put him back on that docket. Yeah, we and another thing, before I let y'all go, I want to put uh Tory Lanez back on the docket too. I know y'all tired of talking about Tory, but I just gotta say something. Yeah, he shot that woman. Him and Kelsey, they shot that girl. I, I don't believe. give a good goddamn what believe. you gotta say. I and then this my whole thought, Queen. Megan took that hoe out the strip club. She took out the strip club, put on game, made her assistant, took off the pole like Stephen did, Jocelyn, and then she switched to the other time for some money. Oh. She's switching out. She's switching out. How much money. he paid her? Seventy-five cents in a pack of goddamn trout and lips. No, ooh, child, that's you know what? <laughs> 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 he paid her and tried it later. Child. <laughs> I had to say, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go, but I want to say this before I let you go. Lily, 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 why, and then one of them I'm like, I was my first time hearing the hearing the river shit. Is you lying? Hey, hey baby, what's tea? Queen, I want to drag the bread. You gotta touch your. I want to drag the bread. You gotta touch your speaker down. I said I want to drag the bread. Yes, but you gotta cut your speaker down. Can you hear me, Queen? Yes. But yes, yeah, I want to put on the docket. What child? What she did? Is she with child? I'm sick of her trying to pick up for little bow wow. She's sitting over there spending all that girl money. The only reason the break even got something to say because that girl got all that money. Mm -hmm. If that girl didn't have no money, she wouldn't even be there. Sure. Now she want to fall in love and have babies. Even on the show, she paying for everything. Every time you turn around, the brand giving her these little small ass gifts. But then this girl giving you three hundred thousand dollar uh, diamonds, and you getting the dogs died, bitch. Really? Ooh, look at that gag right there. So the brand taking the scrap for the money. I feel like she is. The girl paying off her legal fees. I mean, think about it. When she came home, if it wasn't for Ricky Smiley, she wouldn't have no money. Well, how do real studs feel about the brat taking the strap for the cheese? I mean, uh, she the brat says she tired of taking care of me, so she ready to get taken care of. Uh, oh. 
But I love you, Queen. I love you too. Queen. And that's my gag for the night. That was a big old gag. Thank you, baby. <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye bye. Not 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 the gag that the Judy over there looking like Mandy Manhole with that strap on with Ooh. all that botched ass. Fucking the brat. Could y'all imagine that scene? So Judy with all the big booty is fucking the brat. Mm. That's what a big ass. Is, is it white or is it black? <laughs> I know that dildo got brown. Oh, everything. you can get it in brown too. Child. Child, what color is Judy? Big uh, booty Judy. Uh, <laughs> I told you I gave her on the doctor. Brad right. right. asked about biggest Judy's now, so she ready to settle down. Is the Brad over there fucking? Is the Brad and Judy over there fucking Ricky smiling? Bernie's chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie's don't want no bullet eye. I'll tell you. Uh, Bernice fucking the deal. Bernice Jenkins and Madea. You know what? But I'm gonna say one thing about them old school queens. They they knew how to keep their shit in the closet. Ricky Smiley ain't gonna tell nobody he love a little hard dick from the bite, and Tyler Perry ain't told nobody either. These new queens just tell. <laughs> Mm. That's some old school queens. They ain't gonna tell you what you don't know. Ain't none of your business. <laughs> I need to to go back because I wanted to go back like that because this shit is just getting to be a little bit too much. Wait, <laughs> like said, in the days, Ricky Smiley and Talisha them they kept their teeth to themselves. Uh, oh shit! How they do a little close to the to go back because we the people scared. We under the bed. Mm -hmm. Is you lie? Uh, we scared. Hey, hey, baby. Hey, Kai, I'm live. I, I want to gag. Gag us. What the fuck is going on with Akbar B? I want to gag Akbar. They said this bitch should have lost her motherfucking mind since uh, she didn't a goddamn and gave all her motherfucking children away. You know what I'm saying? Back in the gap. And now they said this bitch should have goddamn. Uh, Lost her motherfucking mind, so she lost her money. So now they come back for all her other children and said, Now she, you know what I'm saying? What's going on with it? Let's talk about Akbar. Well, she knows about that shape that she is about them children. But that's crazy, though, because I'm trying to see now. You just, okay, you just came out, you just claimed that you came out with a hit trying to make some more money and all that extra ass shit. But as you so called claim that you got all 10 of your motherfucking children in your motherfucking house. <laughs> But like now they're coming back for the gig, your motherfucking children, because now you're trying to, you, you have to pay old child support to the grandmammy. Oh, Lord, she old child support. Uh, to the grandmammy. So to the grandmammy. They talking about, they old child. They say Akbar losing her motherfucking mind. They, and, that, and then they saying, oh, then they saying that the only reason for why she's acting like that now is because, because of what she did to her past. The past come back in up in the ass. Ooh. It always will. That's crazy. That's crazy. But then what I had to call, I love you, Queen. I love I you so love much, you too. I love your accent. I'm like, I'll be loving to hear y'all talk. Love you, baby. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Queen, so Queen what she on um, Moniece? Did she have her baby or was that shit fake? Who? Moniece. Moniece, Lil Fizz, baby mama? Yeah. I didn't know she was pregnant. Uh, it might be fake. We ain't see, but she did come and do a statement roasting a little things about them that about them fishes. Hey baby. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, Kaya. hey baby, you got some gags? Gag on. Long time listener, first time call. I just want to say I love you. Thank you. Kaya, I just love everything about you, but I just want to I just want to let you know that this little platform that you're doing, please keep it up for 2023. This is so cute. Oh, I will. Thank you. Baby. Thank you so much, Kaya. I love you so much. You have a good night. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bye, Kaya. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yes, much love, Gag Nation. Thank you, guys. Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this for y'all. We got it together. We got the panel together, so we getting the shit right for the 2023. We're going to be live, so be sure to subscribe. Put your notifications on. Be sure to subscribe to KayaThugMrs.com. I'm live every Monday night for Gag with a live support independent artists. And we live. We gag for the night, y'all. We tired and we through. Good job.
Chad, I'm gonna say, to bump some thug misses. I'm gonna say one thing before we head out of here because I, I don't know if we I know we bought up Gorilla, but I don't know if we discussed the her little um ad that she posted where she was trying to hire a, 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 an oh, assistant. Yeah, like, <laughs> but you know they've been sending stuff into the docket where she's not she has been missing shows and taking money in people's deposits. Mm. She was on the she she was on the Memphis. Go get the money. Show how she been stealing. Child. She was stealing that girl then. You know, that girl the because you know you can't trust these niggas and these promoters either. Sometimes they be booking. You got to make sure you 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 you, you, you getting the right promoter. Hey baby, a uh, gag order. Hey, hey, what's going on, Queen? Hey, baby, how are you? Man, I'm good, I'm good. Hey, Queen, I'm calling for the motherfucker. I'm speaking on the chat, right? Yes. Why the fuck you got these motherfuckers on your panel and they scared to show their face? Oh, yeah, that, what, Gag on. Oh, you trying to gag the panel? Yeah. Yes, you know why the fuck the panel up there ain't got their face on? Everybody don't want you to Where your face at? Oh, yeah, if you got time to sit up there and talk this shit, we want to see what the fuck you got going on. Can we see a background soon? The fuck you got going on, man? We got one up here. He remind me of Jamel. Like he just, man, you get out and you got fifteen minutes. Uh -uh. They need to keep that shit clean. So they got. It's your show, Queen. If you don't sit up there, show your face. You got your beautiful skin all out and shit. <laughs> fuck going on, man? You know what, but this shit, that's all. Hey, man, you got these lame ass. Come on, man. These colors fucking up, dog. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> okay, they fucking right, up, man. You know, get right. that shit together, man. Have a conversation behind the scenes. Because you know we all roasters, but yeah. that's what the panel is for. I was over on Bigo. I wanted to do the panel. Of course, I didn't want to be doing the Zoom and all that stuff. I wanted to do the panel. So Gag Nation and the fans and people want to come up and talk about gags and talk about cases and, and so we the people can have the flow. So you can't roast the people in the panel. Everybody got an opportunity to come up. You either could come up on the panel or you could call or you can be in the chat. So that's that's you know y'all know the queen ain't gonna hang up on my fans ever whoever want to come up and call call I, I, that's why i'm live because i everybody say i don't be live long enough i ain't been on youtube in about two years but i'm like okay for 2023 i'm coming back we're gonna have the panel i'm gonna set it up we're gonna do it i'm trying to keep my word so we can do it some people work in the day some people work in the night so it's like okay well some people want me to go on in the morning some people be like queen i'm at work go on in the evening I'm trying to figure out a time where everybody can come up, a time when motherfuckers is off work. If a motherfucker want to show their face, they can. If they don't, they ain't got to show their face. If you want to call, you can call on the phone. If you want to come up on the panel and read cases and try cases, you can come up on the panel. You know, I'm liking how this shit is flowing. So I we like ain't it. get too difficult. That shit is just mad because he tried to use that food step card to sign up at kitethemiss.com and it wouldn't go through. Right. <laughs> uh, right. You know what? Yeah, now he tried to use his food stamp card to pay his subscription. We we all subscribers up here, paid subscribers. And, the, and, and next like, time, all no paid subscribers got to flow first. So right. if you a paid subscriber and you already paid your subscription, you know you get to have conversations with the queen. You get to text the queen. You get to get up on the panel. You first come. You first deals. So. I advise y'all to get y'all subscription at kayathubmrs.com. Go on, on over there and subscribe. Oh, get your bags on Monday night. It's raw. It's uncut. That's where the docket goes the down. I can't do it on Facebook and Instagram and, 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 and YouTube because they're going to report. But we are live every Monday night at 8. So be sure to subscribe. Support the queen. Um, we're going to be putting the subscribers up here on Facebook too because I tried to put some oh. of the show. And I put them up for one night, but I snatched them down because the mutants went to go. They they, they go to support, and when you get <laughs> they like, 
So y'all gotta subscribe. That's the only way we could do it. You gotta subscribe because other than that, I go too hard. It'd be too raw. Y'all go hard up here. She I'm surprised they ain't report y'all up in the chat. Let's get it, y'all talk. Oh. Queen, what video we getting next? Yeah. What video we getting next? I don't know. You know, I'm trying to finally finish Sheba. So that's my goal for the winter. Um, so I could get it done. So I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out what I'm going to do. I just told Ron, I said, well, we got to wait till it warm up a little bit because it's too motherfucking cold. I ain't going out there. We got to figure out what we want to shoot next because, you know, I'm trying to shoot all the videos to all the hits. I don't get no fuck because everybody else tried. I see I put Don't Trust No Nigga K. Wang and stuff out for the anniversary album. Now I see everybody doing videos for their older stuff. That's what it's about. Put your shit out there. So, you know, I want to do the videos to all the fucking hits. I got enough of them. Sure do. Stick like grits. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be recording for the winter. And, of course, I'm going to be live ignoring the signs. It's coming back for the new year, y'all. So get ready because y'all done cussed my black ass out about ignoring the signs. Y'all been fussing about me not being on YouTube. So I'm back. I'm back. We trying to get this shit together. I love y'all. I thank y'all for the support. We're going to do big things for the 2023. You know, now it's time. It's it's, 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 it's it's you reap what you sow time. So if you reap good yeah. shit, good shit coming for you for 2023. Uh -huh. All the shit you, you you sold, you about to reap. If your ass been reaping bullshit, that shit coming for your ass too. See, they locking these things up before Christmas. I say, damn. Y'all better sow some good seeds. Much love, Gag Nation. I thank y'all for the support. Be sure to subscribe and support the Queen. Put your notifications on so you can know when I'm live. And y'all catch me tomorrow. Catch y'all tomorrow night. We gone. Bye, we out. Queen. Bye, Queen. Love, thank you. Bye, Queen. Love, Bye, Queen. Love, Bye, Queen. Love, Bye, Queen. Love,